Oh, jeez. I shitted. And farted. Oh, oh geez. geez. I shitted. I shitted. And, and farted. farted. Jeez, I shitted and farted. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. I shitted. And farted. <laughs> okay, sorry. So I've moved everything around, as you can see. Well, not everything, but that a lot of is things. not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia... Uh, <laughs> sound commands now happen anytime you do exclamation point and the and whatever the command is, no matter where it is in in uh in your sentence. So that's that's a fun thing. Um. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I like the program that I'm using better, or like the program that I'm using now better than the program that I was using before. I'm still in the middle of getting the chatbot fixed. I'm trying to swap from, <clears throat> uh, from Streamlabs over to Stream Elements, and I've gotten everything moved over there, but Stream Elements will not acknowledge the fact that I am typing in commands. So I still have to figure all that out. But some commands are moved over um, to a different a different program now. That's fun. Hi, good afternoon. I'm and already frazzled. Fact. That means everything could be a rock fact, but if we abuse these things, I will put them on a cooldown. I just need you to know that I will put things on cooldowns if we uh, if we if we abuse it. I will take things away from everyone. It's fine. Um. So yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I've done. Um, I've also made it so that I can access voice mod a little more easily. I believe we'll see if that actually works or not. Um, and I've also set up voice mod so that I've gone through and I've picked out all of the uh all of the sounds. All of the the voices that are like good and aren't repeats because let me tell you there are a lot in there that sound the exact same thing or sound the exact same way um so i have it now if we want to do a random one i will just randomize it from a list of ones that are good <laughs> um so that's updated still trying to get it 
to connect with the program that I'm using, but I'll figure that out eventually. We'll get there. It's going to be a slow but steady sort of update <laughs> as opposed to the usual big reveal that I've been doing with, uh, with uh, stream updates. Uh, we do have a new community challenge up and live if people want to add to that. Um, I'm also going to turn myself down just a smidge because I keep peeking and I don't know why. Hang on a second. Um, thank you, Allie, for the contribution. But yeah, it's, uh, we're going to do, we'll do a long stream. If we hit the goal for this one, we will do a long stream, um, with a modded version of Alien Isolation, which I've never, I've played through about half of uh half of alien isolation uh but i never finished it because i think i just got bored with it honestly um so if we do a modded version i think that would be very fun yeah and i added 50 50k more points to it than our last community challenge since y'all went through the center sandwich so dang quickly um i figured another 50k wouldn't be anything I, yeah, Sam being being grumpy about Alien Isolation doesn't surprise me. I think I remember really enjoying it at the beginning, and then it just felt like an absolute slog to get through, um, and so I stopped. But I would be curious to just like play the ending of it. I like I liked it from what I remember. I don't remember much because <laughs> I think I played it like when it came out, um, but I think I got it on like the Epic Store last year during their, like, game giveaway or whatever the fuck. Um, so I have a PC version of it. Uh, so we can just mod it. We'll definitely do the squeaky shoes for the Xenomorph. Uh, but we can find a bunch of other stuff. I'll see what mods there are. If then this is assuming you, you hit the goal. Uh, we, uh, I'll find a list of mods that I like, and then I'll put them up and we'll see which ones y'all want. We'll do, like, a community vote on it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I, I do know it's like a 12 hour long campaign. Uh, I am, if we, if we hit the goal, we will probably do a 12 hour stream. Uh, just for shits and giggles. I haven't done one in a while. Oh, I don't even think I've ever done a 12 hour stream actually. But we haven't done a long, a long stream in a minute. And I figure this would be, this would be a fun way to do one. So, um... That's a lot of hours. That's a that's a the whole ding dang lot of hours right there. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah, I haven't done a twelve hour stream. I've done long streams. I think the longest I did was an eight hour one. Um, but we can do a twelve hour one. I think that's I think that's feasible. I can prepare for that. Um, but yeah. So there's a community challenge. Thank you everyone who's thrown points at that. Um trying to think of what else there is that i need to say uh yeah i'm moving everything around on stream uh so if things don't work bear with me <laughs> but uh it's gonna we're gonna it's gonna be great it's gonna be great we're i've got lots of ideas it's just a matter of getting it done it's just a matter of getting it done all right um what are we doing today we're playing more Spirit Hunter. Um, because I said so. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play Spirit Hunter NG. It's gonna be great. Uh, we didn't really get that far into it last time. Uh, because we only had like an hour and a half of time to play. Um, because of the badness from last weekend. But that's okay. We... <laughs> yeah, goals don't get murdered. Uh, maybe do a ghost murder, though? We could do a ghost murder. After the incident. I'm still just rabid about that. I was so mad. I'm still so mad. Uh, hold on a second. Let me move that back and out of the way. This seems fine. Spotify, I'm gonna need you to get out of here. We're gonna hop on over here. Ugh, sorry. Okay, so I got 
so per Smiley's recommendation, I'm using Touch Portal now um, for sounds and general stream nonsense. It's not quite a stream deck, but I can use my phone to change things. I can hit buttons and it just does it. And it's very nice. Uh, I'm going to be a little slow at first, though, because I'm going to have to get used to reaching over over here, over in this direction, instead of hitting my number pad. But now my number pad is up and functioning again, which is great, because I like using it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to stream this tomorrow. Uh, it just sort of depends on what goes on with uh, Deep Rock Galactic, since I'm going to be playing that with Dougie, Cyril, and Allie tomorrow. Exciting. Hi, Ami! Welcome in. Uh, but yeah, we... Our sister got kidnapped last week on Spirit Hunter and G. <laughs> I do have important space space business tomorrow, but... It'll be after it'll be after Horror Fest, and I imagine we'll be done with Horror Fest around like three thirty, three forty-five ish. Um, since both of the Candyman movies, I think, are about an hour and a half. Uh, so that should be fine. And I don't know that I'm gonna want to do like a full two plus hours of gaming, but I might. So we'll see. I'll let everyone know what's going on tomorrow. We'll see what's happening. Uh, tentatively, let's plan on not streaming. Wanna load, please? I forgot we were named Diablo Ravenway. Oh no. Um, you did miss. You weren't. Yeah, you weren't there, were you? <laughs> Emmy wasn't there when when the pushing happened. Um, here, this is a recap on everything that's happened. Uh, regarding Yuri Takamura, a girl named Yuri died in a traffic accident. Acquaintances with Ami Kaoru. Oh, acquaintances with Ami. Kaoru, acquainted with Ami and Yuri Takamura. I thought that was some weird, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we could probably do more Zomboid, uh, after stream. I'll need to get up and, like, get a food. But I could open up the server if people want. Um... Regarding Yuri Takamura, this, this, none of this matters. Basically, our sister had a friend named Yuri who got hit by a car and she died. Um, we went to go give flowers to this girl and instead of her accepting our lovely, wonderful, pretty offering, did say Zomboid. <laughs> but instead of this girl accepting our lovely, pretty offering, she decided that she was going to try and hit us with a car. We escaped, barely. Definitely died a couple of times, but that's fine. Um, and then our sister went missing. And some weird little fox girl decided that she wants to play a game with us. To which I'm like, fuck you, give me my sister back. And that's basically all that happened uh, last Sunday. So yeah, here we are. I'm gonna close my window real fast. Kind of look at Lamia there on the couch if you want. game sound too loud too quiet just right we good i'm gonna assume we're good uh the day after ami disappeared once i told aunt natsumi what happened she contacted the cops to have them go search for her um i uh, you should you should post those in the in the zomboid channel because i want to hear about it <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about emmy <laughs> I was too busy getting killed by ghosts constantly to want to fall asleep. Um. <laughs> As the last person to see her, of course they were suspicious of me. Ooh. The berserk car, the sound of the flute, 
and Kakuya. I told them everything that happened that night. Emmy, thank you for the contribution to the alien stream. The guy who questioned me couldn't hide his smirk. He clearly didn't believe me. Oh, you know what? You know what I, else I forgot? Ready? Ready? Listen. Rip it and rip it. No surprise. Why is it why is it posting double of those? What is happening? Why? Hold on a second. Should only I don't understand why it's doing it twice. It shouldn't be doing it twice. Everything's broken. Oh, okay. So now, now my chatbot decides mommy? to work. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Sorry. Look, listen, listen. I was trying to oh set no. up stream elements. Our table. It's broken. I was trying to set up my chatbot earlier. Now it works. Now it's decided to work. Okay. Okay, stream elements. That's cool. You do you do you, buddy. Um, I guess my chatbot functions now, so that's great. Can we do this one yet? I also blame Dougie. <laughs> Hi bye, Tori. Does that one work too? It does. It's true, I'm not following me. Oh no, everyone knows that I'm not following me. Um Okay, well, Stream Elements works now as my bot. So I can get rid- I can just completely get rid of- Wait, no I can't because- Hold on, I have to update Stream Elements real fast. I need to update my bot real fast because I don't have the right content warnings uh, over there. Because I thought it wasn't working. So I was like, fuck it. Not gonna- not gonna deal with that. Um, and I need to. I, I need to deal with that because it's here now and it- and it works. So hold on a second. <laughs> Give me a moment. Um, I don't think I have. This is more for my mods than anything. I don't think I have the timers set up just yet. Um, so you might need to pull up game link and content warning every so often if you don't mind. Unless I can do that real fast, I might be able to. But like I said, things are going to be a little weird and rough while we go through this transitional period. Uh, but that's okay. Because we're going to we're going to get it figured out. Actually, do you have it up? Hold on a second. I don't know if it'll work though. Um, so if people can just I'm going to try and keep an eye on it, but <laughs> uh, I will probably miss it. If you see the chat bot pulling up, yeah, save. Okay. Basically, I would just like to know if uh, we'll get this fixed in a Jingleheimer Junction. <laughs> Sorry, we're not yelling at you to go to bed. Oh, wait, I guess we are yelling at you to go to bed. Why are we yelling at Tori to go to bed? <laughs> Why are we yelling at Fruity to go to bed? Listen. Listen. Also. Um, do we want... Sorry, I'm so snotty. Uh... Not that we've been having any tech difficulties, knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> but would we like the, we'll get this fixed in a Jingleheimer Junction to be our, our, our new outage message? Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm actually ready to go now, please. I am going, I am going to, y'all are out of control right now. Jingleheimer Jiffy. All right. I can make that happen later. Not gonna do it now. I don't want to do it now. I've been staring at this bot almost literally all day. <laughs> Between stream elements and touch portal, 
my brain is melting. <laughs> I don't like the chat science. <laughs> oh, I can hardly believe it all myself and I lift it. All right. Well, I guess if you notice anything funky, I probably won't notice it now. Uh, mods, you know how to contact me if something's weird and not functional. Well, the painfully long question done, I finally made my way back to my apartment. Slowly drag my feet up the rickety stairs to my door. I'm exhausted. My chair is squeaky now. Sad. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. I'm home, but I don't feel like turning on the lights. The quiet dark might help organize my thoughts. What should I do now? speak out loud to focus on the sound. It's my voice, and I should be used to it, but somehow it feels like it belongs to someone else. I've got two options. Never turning on the lights. Not even once. Sorry, Emmy. <laughs> Let the police deal with it, or handle this myself. Typical kidnapping or misimper missing persons is a job for the cops, as they're professionals. They aren't. Yeah, I'm wearing shades. Though so going by all the smug looks I got, explaining things, I doubt they believe me. Besides, that Kakuya girl said... <laughs> Kakuya will play with you next. Let's play the Urashima woman game. Look for the Urashima woman. If you don't play with Kakuya, you'll disappear too. And Ami will never come back. Yeah, okay, Kakuya, whatever you say. She's waiting for me. Yeah, does Diablo look like somebody who would turn the lights on? Look at him. Look at him! What should I do? Give my head a shake. Focus. I have to make a decision. Do I actually? Are you actually gonna make me choose? There's no game if I don't do it. I will... Look, even if the cops are capable, fuck the police! <laughs> I make my own choices. I do my own thing. Get the fuck out of here. We did it. Oh, I'll play your game. I'll play the hell out of it. I'll crush it so hard you won't have a stage to stand on. Plus, going after what after her will probably lead me to Ami. I just know she's got to be involved in Ami's disappearance. I mean, she she said as much. Mindset. I flick the lights on. Damn light. Why does it seem so bright this time? Okay, where to start? Detectives usually search personal belongings first, right? I open my closet and pull out what I'd hidden there. It's Ami's headphones that I found earlier. Should have turned them in as evidence, but something made me hold on to them. I got dizzy out of nowhere after I touched the blood stain. What was that? Are we doing it again? Gah! This is fine. Ami. I think it's Ami bringing me some flowers. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. All broken up. We'll be waiting. <laughs> Again. Like someone jabbed antenna into my head and I'm picking up TV signals. But I can't see it clearly. Thank you, Allie. I have it set so that it should be like every 15 minutes the timer should go off, but I don't know if it's a gonna. Someone's calling. Oh, it's Amoname. Am Amoname. Amoname. Diablo, I heard about Ami. The police sure put you through the ringer. It's a good life experience to grow from. You learn of things fast as usual. Well, I have a friend in the police department. He went out of his way to report to me since it involved a classmate of mine. 
Sounds like the Amaname family uh, influence extends to the police department. Can you come back to or can you come to Black Rabbit? Tell me everything there. What? Uh, tell me everything there while I comfort the heartbroken Miss Natsumi. Black Rabbit isn't open. Aunt Natsumi is busy. Didn't she say you had a spare key? Anyway, let's meet there. Don't make me wait, Diablo. Diablo. Don't just decide on your own. Hold on. Finished with that, or finished with what he said, he hangs up on me. Farley. Hi. Sorry, I have a large lad looking at me. What, what do you need? Yeah, okay. He says pets. Give pets. This guy. <laughs> I grab my bag and leave my apartment, heading toward the bar. I mean, I guess. We only just started, game. Realistically. Amaname Hazuki. No one should be here, but the lights are on. Diablo. Aunt Natsumi sits inside, looking exhausted. She's hiding it well with her makeup, but the bags under her eyes are still there. The bar's closed today. I'm meeting Amaname here. What about you? Uh, I left something. So forgetful. In her hands is a small clutch that Ami always used. Okay, I'm off to the police station. You can use the bar as you wish, but try not to be out too late, alright? Aunt Natsumi quickly leaves the store. Her steps are so unsteady, it looks like she could collapse right in front of me. What's this? Papers are scattered over the counter. Ami's face looks back at me, above the words, Have you seen her? Bet she can't stand still, or can't stand sitting around and doing nothing. I am having a hell of a time reading right now. Apologies. <laughs> Turn on the TV to pass time while I wait for Amaname. Looks like I caught the local news. They're talking about topics in the Shins Award. In other news, the corpse of a female was found yesterday at Yamamo uh, Yamato Shrine. It's not that many M's in there. The Shinza police plan to investigate to, deter to determine if this is a possible crime or an accident. The Shrine's administration announced that the park will be closed at night for the next few days. As a result, all events scheduled to take place in Yamato Shrine, including the concert by the idol Momo Kuruse, have been cancelled. The performance has been rescheduled to... A picture of a girl with silver hair appears on the screen. Is that a cult idol Ami likes? She hadn't planned to go to the concert, but I'm sure she'd be disappointed to hear this. did come like I told you to. Good boy like you deserves a present. He tosses a can of coffee at me with the word Dawn. It's got a face of a grizzled band who looks like a bandit leader on it. Regular coffee has 150 milligrams of caffeine, but apparently this kind has twice that. What do you think? Like a wire to the brain, huh? Yeah, okay. Looks like you like it. You've got the face of someone who enjoys coffee. Anyway, let's get right to it. My cop friend told me uh, what you said during questioning. That a girl in traditional clothing is involved with Ami's disappearance. Have you gone crazy? Of course you don't believe me. I would have punched you to stop making up things if you'd told me the same. Hitting me is unnecessary, you barbarian. I don't need anyone to believe me. It's my problem. I'll take care of it. Full of yourself as always. Your courageous, uh, your courageous recklessness reminds me of Don Quixote. But that's what makes you you. These days, we've only got guys who leave all their work for others to deal with. It's rare to find someone like you who takes matters into their own hands. Putting aside whether I believe your fairy tale or not, I'd love to see how a guy like you will tackle something like this. Sounds very entertaining. Count me in, too. Guess you don't really care. Then I'll do as I please, thank you. Besides, I stand to gain something from this myself. Finding Ami will get me extra brownie points with Miss Natsumi. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to break her regard. 
sir, please. Whatever. Okay. All right, I'm getting pumped. This reminds me of when you and I dealt with that dealer who crept too far into our turf. Oh yeah, whatever happened to that guy? I left him with you. Hmm, I wonder. I haven't seen him since then. Maybe he went back home. I heard he lives near the ocean, so perhaps he's swimming with the fishes these days. Be smart to drop this topic right now. Oh, a customer? Bursting into the bar comes someone I recognize, Kaoru Hazuki. Um, Miss Satsumi? I want to know more about what happened to Ami. Oh, Ravenway. Where's this uh, Miss Satsumi? She wasn't at home, so I figured she'd be at the bar. Ami told me where to find it a long time ago. She's gone to the police. I see. Let's close. It must be Kaoru Hazuki. See why Maru Hashi was thrilled. Pretty cute. Who are you exactly? Why do you know my name? Oh, are you an FBI psychic detective and you use some kind of mind reading on me? If so, then I want your autograph. My name is Seiji uh, Amaname. Not a common last name, is it? If you get what I'm saying, this will go much faster. You're part of the Amaname family? Her body stiffens as she realizes. Anyone who doesn't know Seiji Amaname reacts exactly the same. Why is a member of the Yakuza here? He's a friend. He's the boss's son, but he's not a member yet. He won't fight so long as you don't mess with him. Did you not introduce me like some dog? Anyway, why did you hear about or er, where did you hear about Ami Hazuki? Miss Satsumi called me while I was out. She didn't go into detail, so. But you can fill me in, right, Ravenway? Yeah, I was thinking the same. I want to hear it from you directly. Maybe Hazuki will believe your fairy tale. Girls love those sorts of things. Fairy tale? I tell them everything that happened that night. Every karaoke later. <laughs> Are we, uh... Might, there might be some bicycle hitting later. I don't know about the karaoke, though. Uh, I tell them everything that happened that night. About the van attacking us, how Ami disappeared, and my encounter with Kakuya. Aminame smirk never wavers as he listens. Doesn't look like his opinion's going to change. But Hazuki is completely serious. Her gaze is so intense, it's like she's memorizing uh memorize excuse me, memorizing every word I say. You're serious? Yeah, don't believe me if you want, but No, I believe you. That was fast. Knowledge of Yakuza is very limited. <laughs> Kinda same. <laughs> that Kakuya girl you mentioned? She must be a spirit. Spirit? What's that? What? You don't know about spirits? Are you saying you don't read Moe's- um... I don't think it's Moe. But Moe's H City featured article in- <laughs> I know it's, I think it's supposed to be OOP or like OO parts, but I still just read it as OOP. OOP parts! I don't read that. To be fair, monthly OOP parts is a minor occult magazine. Chits out tabloid grade fantasies about ghosts and urban legends. I think that was mentioned in the first game, though. Uh, that schoolgirl that we met on the first case, I think? Nobody with any sense reads it. It's not fantasy, it's the truth. You think so too, right, Ravenway? You believe in ghosts and urban legends. Sure, of course. I knew it. Of course Ami's big brother would be like that. Hey! It's the lady from the first game. Spirits aren't human. They say they're what becomes of people who died with a strong grudge. So, like a ghost? They're similar, though they're of a more violent nature. They have a strong hatred towards living. That's why they try to kill us. A drop of sweat runs down my back. Last night, I barely escaped that runaway van. Is there anything else? Well, let's see. Spears are distinguished by how they feed off of fear. They drive humans to the brink of death and soak them in fear and despair. That's their wish. 
That's all I remember of what's written about them. Fear, huh? Hey, Ravenway? This Kakuya told you to search for the Urashima woman, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Some kind of game between her and me? So, does that mean the Urashima woman from the rumors actually exists? You know what she's talking about? Well, of course. It's the most discussed rumor right now on the Shin's Award ghost story forums. Enough of this. Why are we even floating the idea that ghosts exist? It's foolish and unproductive. Zip it. Kazuki, who is the Urashima woman? It's the ghost of a woman said to appear at Yamato, uh, Yamato Shrine. The shrine contains Urashima Lake, hence the name Urashima Woman. And, well, about the ghost... Ah, I clicked the thing! I didn't mean to. Urashima Whisper. Uh, you heard about the body of the college girl that was found at Yamato Shrine, right? Apparently it was right next to Urashima Lake. I bet the Urashima woman did it. They say the Urashima woman is the ghost of a woman who died in Urashima Lake. If you do a certain thing at the shrine, she'll appear. What are you supposed to do? Easy. Go to the lake in the dead of night and just throw a rock in. Though I've heard it's up to luck whether you see the Urashima woman or not. According to those who did see her, she looks like a soaked pregnant woman. About that college girl who died, her friend invited her to go with him to find out if the rumor was true or not. Though they were going to the park in the middle of the night, so maybe they were fooling around. When they reached the boat dock, they used rock, paper, scissors to decide who to test it. College girl lost. Nervous, she picked up a random rock and threw it into Urashima Lake. The splash echoed through the quiet park. The two of them slowly glanced around. But no one was there. The lake looked the same as well, shining dimly under the moonlight. They must have felt relieved. They laughed together over silly rumors, but I guess they still felt uneasy as they left the park right away. It all started the next day when the girl stopped coming to classes. People called her over and over, but she never answered nor responded to their messages. A few days later, her friends became worried, so they decided to go visit her. And that's when they found her drowned body by Urashima Lake. And for some reason, her corpse was swarming with small turtles. That's a thing. And that's the scary rumor of the Urashima woman. <laughs> the turts are burgling you now. Watch out. Wasn't that just spine tingling? <laughs> she might have been burgling them, but it sounds like they ended up burgling her. <laughs> Not the rebelling turtles. Amaname uh, Amaname already had a pale face, but now he looks drained of blood. His face gone blank, and his eyes are out of focus. Could it be you're the type that can't deal with ghosts or scary stories? Uh, Amaname is actually just really scared of turtles. Gah. That's right. Got a problem with it? My aversion to these sorts of things is more or less like uh, what you consider a weed allergy. Meaning, that's just how my body reacts. Can't help it if it does it. When I heard you were the son of a boss, I was afraid that you'd be scary, but... So you can be too, uh, cute too, Amaname. Why are you smiling? Why are you being so overly familiar with me? He's been like this since elementary. Ghosts scary stories are his weak point. He once heard a scary story on an overnight trip, couldn't sleep, and fainted the next day. I wonder if the Urashima woman Kakuya spoke about is connected to the rumor. I doubt there's more than one of them. It's worth checking. Right, we have to look into it. 
We have to find the truth about the Urashima woman and her identity. You're having fun with this, aren't you? Well, my interest in ghosts and the occult is part of my life's work, after all. Or your weird hobby and clothes because of that occult idol. Yeah, of course I'm a Momo alert. Plus, the Urashima woman got Momo's concert cancelled. Can't forgive her. I agree that we should investigate the rumor. Uh, obviously, it's to prove that the Urashima woman doesn't exist. She's really just a pregnant woman on a stroll. Fear makes the wolf bigger than he is. Alright then, let's get going. Uh, right now? Hold on, you're coming with us? Of course. No way am I going to miss this chance to see an actual spirit up close. What we do after you meet it? Get an autograph or something? Yeah. I'm kidding. Of course not. I'm not that dumb. I would just love to see one up close, like the fans are with idols. Besides, there's also Ami. Going after the Urashima woman kills two birds with one stone. So, I'll be hanging around for a while, Ravenway. <laughs> you don't look happy. But I'm serious about this. I'll follow it no matter what you say. I don't mind going, but didn't the news say something about the Yamato Shrine being closed at night right now? Wouldn't the trip be for nothing? It's enough to go there and check it out. Besides, you'd be surprised at the ways one can get through the well-guarded places. I've heard about die-hard fans sneaking into their favorite idol's dressing room. One of these die-hard fans doesn't have to be you, does it? I bet she stole the clothes she's wearing from Momo Kuruse's dressing room. Do you want me to curse you both to death? You're better than all this small talk. Let's go. It's late. If we're going, we better leave now. Keep an eye out for cops. It'll be a huge hassle if they catch us. Oh, leave that to me. You know a route that circumvents the police. And why would you know that? I like exploring haunted places. They started recognizing me the more times I went out. So that night with Maruhashi... Yeah, I was returning from a haunted place. I'd heard about an abandoned gentleman's club downtown where ghosts appear. I was lucky and a window happened to be open, so I was able to sneak in, but... No ghost showed up, unfortunately. I even waited for two hours. Hey, Diablo? This girl seems kind of crazy, don't you think? Guess not just her clothes are strange. But she seems to know a lot. Better her than someone who'd get in the way. I suppose that's true. If anything, she's not too bad looking, so she might be of use. Sometimes you just need a woman's charms to get you out of a situation. Uh, you do know I can hear everything, right? I don't think they care. <laughs> we leave Black Rabbit and head toward Yamato Shrine under Hazuki's direction. Eee! Let's go! Get me out of here. Get me out of this menu. I want to go find a ghost. <laughs> I also want my bangs to stop being in my face. Uh, a few minutes of walking gets us to the entrance of Yamato Shrine. Like we were warned, the main entrance is closed. So it really is closed at night. Though it is just a park. I doubt there's much in the way of security. I measure up the height of the gate. I can jump this. Well, I'm sure it'd be a breeze for you, Diablo. Let's check for security cameras just in case. It'd be a hassle if they call the cops on us. But the biggest problem... Aminami glances over his shoulder. That security guard seems super dedicated to keeping an eye out. It's so late. I figured they'd go home at some point or something. When no one's around is the exact time, more security is required. Not everyone is as honest as you, Hazuki. It's just common sense. I get the feeling I should put an end to this conversation now. Anyway, may as well try talking to the guy at least. Let me look around at things. Why is it so slow? This Grand Vermilion Tori Gate is proof that uh, this place used to be a shrine before it became a park. Well, there's your problem. There's a flyer on the ground. It says, Cancellation Notice. Looks like the concert was cancelled. Concert. Is this talking about... Yep, Momo Kuruse's uh, concert had to be cancelled. It's weird, but she's become strangely popular recently. Who knows why. It's a shame about the concert being cancelled. I was really looking forward to it. 
think I'll hold on to this flyer if that's okay. Might be able to hear more about it from the guard. Great. Directory with a map of the park. Looks like Urushima Lake is in the center and a sanctum sits on the island located inside it. The island's called Ryugu Island. Below the map is a short explanation about the shrine. The main sanctum, uh, Tamate, is on Ryugu Island and honors the water gods Tatsu, dragon, and me, snake. These gods provide blessings for good childbirth. Many parents name their children or their child after the deities. To receive that blessing, you throw a rock with a name written on it into the lake when the sun's at its peak. The rock throwing part sounds a lot like the Urushima woman's rumor, though that one you're supposed to do at night. Be it praying to a god or spooky ghost doesn't change the fact that this is all ridiculous. It's an ingenious way to scam people and make money off of the devout, uh, devout though. Uh, you're so annoying. Karma's gonna come back and bite you in the butt for that. Okay. <laughs> Park entrance. Uh, main gate is closed. I don't see any security cameras. You're right. I don't see any either. How sloppy. But it works out for us. Yeah, the gate isn't very tall either. Are we sure? That looks kind of tall. Just saying. Does that mean there's no issue with jumping the gate? Only if the guards don't spot us. And that's the sticking point, of course. Okay. What's this poster? Poster details info on a festival. Apparently it's for offering prayers to the water gods living in the lake. Okay. <laughs> the lights on the station are on. Looks like the guards are working late. Step forward, but Aminami stops me with his hand. I got this. I've got some experience with negotiating. He straightens his shoulders, walks up to the window, and taps it lightly with a knuckle. Oh, um, excuse me. The window to the front desk slides open, and a sleepy-sounding man replies. What is it? Park's already closed for the day. I'm terribly sorry. I actually came to the park earlier today, and it seems I forgot something on a bench inside, so I came back to get it. Ah, uh, the I-lost-something scenario. But the guard doesn't seem to be softening up. Look, man, if you lost something, you need to call management. We're only secure or we're only security and information here. Management? Hey, I already told you earlier, we're closed. If there's something you want to know, take a look at the directory or the posters. Good night. Ass. He was rather pissy. It's late. I guess it makes sense. We need to come up with some sort of plan if we want to get him, uh, any useful information out of him. Okay, can I... I can't, I can't use anything. Great. Great. Can I talk to him again? No, I don't want to look at the poster. I'm trying to look at the kiosk. It's a security station that also serves as an information desk. Can I use this? I pull out the cancellation notice for my bag. Maybe I can find out something from the guard if I show this to him. Should handle this, Diablo. I get the feeling he'd just chase me away if he sees me come up to him again. I head over and quietly tap on the glass. The window slides open immediately. Garth guard still sounds sleepy. Yeah, what is it? I wanted to ask about this flyer. Oh, the idol concert. That's been cancelled. I know, but... Why was it cancelled? Why do you think? Body of that college girl, obviously. Why'd you make me say it? Jeez, why isn't he working tonight? Uh, he? The guard on shift tomorrow is a Caruse fan. He will not stop talking about her. It drives me crazy. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer all your questions about her. He'd talk the year off a fellow fan. No, I wouldn't exactly say I'm a fan. Okay, you're starting to get on my nerves. Hurry and go if you don't want me to call the cops. Damn idol otaku. You look put out. How'd it go? Apparently the concert was cancelled. But we already knew that. Is that all you found out? No, there's one other thing. Sounds like the guard on duty tomorrow is a huge Momo Karuse fan. A uh, Momo Karuse fan? Um, 
that important? I think I've checked everything I can around the main entrance. Okay, I think I'm done here. If you plan to investigate inside, then I don't think you can avoid hopping over the gate. Sure, but what about the guard? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a problem. We'll just have to force our way in. It's not too tall, so hopping it'll be a cinch. Sure, it's easy for a muscle freak like you. Kazuki and I aren't so inclined. We'd need some time to climb over, uh, climb our way over. That loss of time would be fatal. It's too risky. True. Then I'll just go on my own for a quick look. Oh, hold on, are you serious? Yeah. We came all this way. It'd suck if we go back empty-handed. Hi, Devo. Tickle me on. Yeah, but what do you plan to do after you get in? <laughs> Not the muscle freak Diablo Raven way. Terrible. Hi. Devo says hello. By the way, in case you were wondering. I have to scritch his little head. Hi. <laughs> Devo, they say hello. Yeah! Well, how about I go through a rock in Urashima Lake? Maybe that'll make the Urashima woman appear. D don't do it! You'll be cursed! Only if the rumor's true. We'll have to take some risks at some point if we're gonna, uh, if we're going after the Urashima woman. Just a matter of when. Sorry. <sighs> oh my gosh. No yawns. But... Okay, if that's your decision, Diablo. I'll support it. Kazuki and I will distract the guard. Take the chance to sneak in. I'm trying not to yawn! I'm so tired. This week, I'm telling ya. Right, I'll leave that to you. I guess our roles are set then. Kazuki, I'm gonna need your help. Y yeah, alright. Ugh... The two huddle together to plan their strategy. Sounds like they're gonna cause some kind of disturbance to distract the guard. And that's the plan. All you have to do is keep up. Get the feeling you're a pretty bad actor. <laughs> I'll show you my true power. I can ad-lib the particulars, right? Oh, hey, please don't do an- don't- uh, just don't do anything stupid. Alright, Diablo, we're off. Figure out the timing on your own. Just get inside. They make their way over to the, uh, toward the security station. I'm really sorry, Kaoruko. I forgot and left your present in the park. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Please forgive me? How could you, Seiji, bro? It's my birthday today and I was really looking forward to opening it. No, not just me. Even this child in my womb. Huh? Ch child? That wasn't part of the plan. I'm sure I've conceived... It's yours. You're happy for us, right? Uh, seriously? Your face. Are you gonna dare say that it's not yours? No, that's not... Don't give me any of your shit. It's definitely your child. I'll, I'll make you acknowledge it no matter what. Hey, you too? This girl. What's all the fuss about? Take your quarrel elsewhere. Shut up! You know what? It's your fault to begin with, since you won't let him inside the park. But, but I can't... If my trauma causes me to lose my child, are you going to take responsibility? Huh? Karu, please. Uh, uh... Karuko, calm down. Wow, Kazuki's amazing. No. No. She's terrifying and horrible. We need to not hang out with her. Whoops, no time to be distracted. Think of the baby! I don't wanna. <laughs> Now's my chance. With Hazuki success successfully distracting the guard, I hop over the main gate. <laughs> I don't stop after getting over the gate. I jog straight down the wide road. I don't like her, and I've never liked her. Soon I reach an open space with a fountain. I don't- there's honestly, um, 
<laughs> hey, octopus. Don't worry about it. We're just being weird and and gross about everything over here. Um, I definitely like the characters uh, in the first Spirit Hunter and Deathmark more than I do in NG. But, you know, that's because most of them were actually kind of likable. As opposed to all the characters here that are just garbage. I don't I don't miss Mary. <laughs> doll was doll was a lot. Good villain though. <laughs> but hey Octopus, how's it going? <laughs> uh soon I reach an open space with a fountain. Probably far enough now. If I remember the map by the entrance, there's some kind of boat dock ahead. Must be where the college girl threw the rock into the lake. <laughs> the slow driving. The 23 kilometers per hour driving. Good times. Uh, Alright. May as well give it a try. Can I, can I look around? Gotta confirm the Urashima woman rumor. Bend down and pick up a rock. I've got a throwable rock. Aren't we happy? Uh... That's totally fine. Good on you for getting your stuff done. Or at least working on it. You got this. Alright, what's this? There's no water running in it. Probably because it's after hours. No time to check it right now. Uh, it's closed right now, so the lights are off. Someone who's sneaking in, I appreciate the black light. Can go boat dock where the girl threw a rock in the lake is north of the central plaza. Better head straight there. But I want to look around, game. Let me look around the park, game. Game. <sighs> but yeah, best of luck to you to getting your stuff done. I appreciate you lurking, though. Uh, one of those types of trash cans you can find at theme parks. No time to check it right now. <gasps> Same to you, Bunno. Thank you for the lurk, friend. Enjoy your game. Uh, must be a restricted area. There are chains on, or chains on the poles. Oh, that's so quiet. <laughs> Look, it works, okay? Look, you're... <laughs> we understand that the bed, bed command works. <laughs> um, hold on. I need, do need to write down that I need to, I have to, like, edit all of the files, uh... I have to edit all the sounds so that they are louder. Because some of those are too dang quiet. Why? Oh, wait. No. Why is the... Okay, hold on. I am going to fix that immediately. Again, this is going to be a weird, we're going to work on everything as it comes out. And obviously I'm a little slow to pick up on what's going on. <laughs> I'm not reading, apparently. Why is that? That shouldn't be the case. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure you're not? Because it looks like you are. No, hold on. Um. Why? What if I turn the bed one off? That shouldn't be... I'm looking at the command right now, right? And it... The message that I am looking at that's associated with the shout-out command is definitely not the bed command. Let me try one more time. Why? 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, what if I just do... What if we do this? Let me just delete that command. And then try to... Why? Okay, I'll figure that out later. That's terrible and dumb and I hate it. <laughs> Why is it doing that? What if I... What if I make it say, act, like, actually say shout out? Okay, that worked. Uh, I'm <laughs> you will have to type out shout out now, mods. Um, but it works. <laughs> why is it? I don't want to. Why are you like this? Okay. Uh, must be a restricted area. There are chains on the poles. It's a boat rental booth. No time to check it right now. Okay, okay. The rental boat floats beside the dock. Beyond the boat is Urashima Lake, shrouded in darkness. Rumors say if I throw a rock into the water here, I might see the Urashima woman. There's no guarantee she'll appear. The college girl who died apparently didn't see her. Uh, can I use the rock then? I can. Gotta throw a rock, so I walk to the dock. And climb into the boat tied up there. Why are you in the boat? You can just stand on the dock. I take the throwable rock from my pocket and toss it into the water a short distance away. A warm, fishy breeze distinct to lakes blows past me. But it doesn't feel like anything's happening. Better get back. Feeling a slight chill, I climb out of the boat and return to shore. Hello? It's Amaname. Yeah, what's up? Time's up, Diablo. Guard's about to go on patrol. Get out quick so he doesn't run into you. Got it. Meet us in front of the Kisuji station. We'll stand out, uh, we'll stand out if we gather by the gate every time. Hazuki and I will head out there now. Later. I didn't see the Urashima woman like we hoped, but it's good enough for her first day of scouting. I guess the rumors are just that. Death that college girl even died because of the Urashima woman. I also like how everyone just assumes that, like, these curses and shit are gonna happen, like, immediately. Like, you throw the rock in there and all, all of a sudden she's just gonna show up and, like, snap your neck or something. It's like, it's gonna take some time, okay? You gotta wait. Be patient for death to come and find you. I'm no ghost otaku like Hazuki, so this is pretty much what I expected. But if that's the case, where is this Urushima woman Kakuya was talking about? I'll think about it later. Right now I need to get out of here fast. As I take a step, my attention gets caught. Was that a sound coming from the lake? I turn back, but everything looks the same. Must have been a fish or something. I sprint full speed from the boat dock all the way up to the central plaza. I hop over the gate without breaking a sweat, leave the shrine, and disappear into the night. Doesn't seem like the guard noticed me. Doesn't take me long to reach the Kasuji station entrance where we decided we'd meet. 
There are people rushing inside. Must almost be time for the final train. Oh, welcome back. I'm glad to see you're safe. I had a lot of trouble while distracting that guard to get you inside. Certain someone had a rather impassioned performance. <laughs> I got a little caught up in the moment. But hey, we got his attention at least, right, Ravenway? I'm gonna be upset about this. Sorry, I got too carried away. So, how was it inside Yamato Shrine? Was this, uh, was the Urshima woman there? I tossed a rock into the lake, but nothing showed up. Oh, you actually threw a rock in? I hope bad ghosts didn't follow you back. Are you feeling okay? No stomach aches? I'm fine as far as I know. Then I guess we don't have to worry for now. It might be wise to burn some incense when you get home, though, just in case. Can we move off this occult topic? We need to focus on coming up with a way to sneak into the park. We can't do a performance like that every time. Amaname's right. All of us might not make it in, but maybe we can figure out a way for at least two of us? I'd like to look for the Yurishima woman, too. Easier said than done. Oh! The guard on shift tomorrow was a Momokuruse fan, right? According to that guy, yeah. The guard had absolutely had it with the other guard over it. He must be a hardcore fan. Well then, this might uh, not be a bad idea. What are you thinking? Just that the odds will be in our favor tomorrow. The guard's a big Kuruse fan, right? And he's probably not used to talking to girls. So... Amanami looks at Hazuki speculatively. I thought she could use her wiles to lend a hand. You're both terrible. Listen. You're a live or die obsessed Momo Kuruse fan too. You must know exactly what kind of things would keep, uh, make that type of guy happy. Hey, just what the hell are you saying? The look on Huzuki's face brace for another blow up, but let's see, that might not be too bad. That's a surprise. She just let Amanami's comment comment roll off her back. Hazuki, you don't mind? I'll do my best. It's for the Urashima woman and Ami. I'll leave it to you then. Hi, Devo. You can count on me. It wouldn't be such a hassle if we only had to access the shrine. We could do our business there during the day. The Urashima woman sightings are only at night. Besides, it's standard ghost protocol to appear at midnight. I, I haven't affirmed for myself the existence of ghosts yet. It's entirely possible that it's just a pregnant woman on a stroll. No, but it's definitely a ghost. And not just a ghost, but a spirit. My sixth sense, my sixth sense is telling me. Ugh, there's no debating with you. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell Miss Natsumi what about this. She tried to stop us. Not a word to the police or anyone else either. Evo, what are you doing? I know, I know. Believe me, I'm painfully aware of how people don't believe this sort of thing. All right, I'm off. I have an assembly to attend to. See you guys tomorrow night. He turns around and heads off, disappearing into the neon lights of downtown. I think I'm gonna go to... Oh, hold up a sec, Ravenway. Ami told me that you live near the underpass. My place is that way, too. Why don't we head home together? So, I take it that's a yes? We take off together toward my apartment. Ever since that day, I make it a point to walk through the underpass on my way home. If I go through this creepy place, I might be able to meet that Kakuya again. Uh, that's where you and Ami got photos taken, right? I heard one of them was a crazy intense ghost picture. I have no idea how jealous I am. Oh right, when she had too many eyes. Oh, so that's not me. I'm not wearing my sunglasses and my beard's not there. That's- Who is this man behind Ami? That's not me. That happened the day after I got that black postcard. Maybe the game had already started by then. Mommy told you all that. She's really proud of her big brother, you know. She talks about you constantly. Like how you like motorcycles. You bought a new bike recently, right? Some big machine with plenty of horsepower? You know, even that? Never would have thought there'd be a mole so close to me. 
when Ami comes back, we're gonna have to talk. Uh. <laughs> right? We were all distracted about those eyeballs, but it was really we were the ghosts all along. Horrifying. So the place where the van attacked you is right around here. Did Yuri's ghost really appear? There was a shadow that could have been her. Let's see. I point out the spot where I saw it. Mizuki stares at it for a while. Is she getting teary? She's been constantly offering flowers ever since Yuri died. We were best friends. I should have come and offered flowers that day. Ami wanted me to join you. I should have listened to her. Then I could have seen a real spirit. That's why you're sad? I'm joking, of course. I wish I could have seen Yuri. There's so much that I want to talk to her about. Maybe I could have saved Ami. Be realistic. I, it wouldn't have changed anything if he'd been there. If she'd been with us that day, she would have been killed by the out of control van. I saved myself and Ami. Uh, and Ami made it because she was small, but Suzuki would have had no chance. You're right. I don't have your strength. The only thing I have to offer is knowledge of the occult and supernatural phenomena. Please come to me if there's anything you want to know. Anything at all. Supernatural phenomena, huh? Think back uh, about the past few days. The runaway van, Yuri's ghost, Kakuya. Pretty sure I told her everything. Oh, there was that one other thing. Could ask about that phenomenon. There is one thing I want to ask you, Hazuki. Ever hear of anything about being able to see things when you touch blood? Like a movie plays in your head? It's hard to explain. That sounds like ESP. Maybe some form of psychometry? What's that? It's a form of ESP where residual thoughts left on objects can be read. Like, you could read fossils and ruins to see how people back during that time period lived. Then what I saw when I touched the headphones were Ami's thoughts? Are you saying this happened to you, Ravenway? Yeah. I give her a quick recap of what happened to me when I touched the blood on the headphones. But that's incredible! If that's true, then that's just amazing! Can't say I expected her to get so excited. She's even breathing hard. I'm shocked. You have a gift for these sorts of things. Yeah, okay. Is your face frozen with surprise? Anyway, I'd love to take a look. Do you have the headphones with you? No, I left them at home. Then we need to get to your place. I didn't invite you over. Mizuki takes off like a shot. And when you fire up her passion in the occult, she runs with it. Literally. I take off in a sprint after her. Please. Can we not hang out with this girl? <laughs> I wasn't racing or anything, but I'm the first to arrive at my apartment. Hazuki stumbles up a while later, out of breath. You're too fast, Ravenway. Running at that speed? You're still not tired. That's inhuman. You must be related to Turbo Granny. Not Turbo Granny. Sorry. <laughs> um, human weapon, abominable snowman, ESP, and now a creature of urban legend? Just, uh, just how the hell does Hazuki see me? If... <laughs> It's a, a Japanese urban legend. Just basically, I think it's just about a granny who runs really, really quickly. Um, some sort of like cryptid or something. It's <laughs> I haven't thought about Turbo Granny in a hot minute, so I don't remember all of the details. But I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a breather here. I wish someone would run fast to give me snacks. Could you bring out the headphones? Thanks. Everybody needs a turbo granny in their life. <laughs> I duck in and grab the headphones from where I left them in the living room and return outside. Here. This is the pair that Yuri gave Ami, right? Ami would listen to Momo songs all the time. And that's the blood? Is it Ami's? That's my guess. 
the point in thinking about it, I suppose. Let's try it. Just like the last time, I reach up toward the blood stain. Mommy, bring me some flowers. We'll be waiting. Well, see anything? Something's there, but it doesn't make sense. The voices are fuzzy, too. Okay, I read something from a spiritualist that said this, but apparently the focus point for supernatural visions is in the forehead. Focus everything there and, uh, and imagine a third eye. I'm sure it'll clear things up. Focus? The third eye stuff is beyond me, but I do know concentration is important. Sharpening your concentration to the limit lets you see a lot of things you missed before. Like an enemy's breathing and movement patterns. If I can feel them, my body acts on its own. Amaname claims the reason I'm undefeated is because of my uh, intense focus and quick reflexes. So, what if I put all my focus and concentration toward the blood instead of my enemies? I guess I'll see if it works. Remember how it feels. This time it's clear. This is my bathroom. Cleaning time, cleaning time. I have to finish before it's time to eat. Mommy's voice echoes in my head. It's gonna be stir-fried vegetables. Everything tastes so good when Big Brother makes it. He's gonna be a good husband someday. <laughs> ah, ouch! I caught my toe on something. Looks like I'm bleeding a little. You got your toe blood on your headphones? <laughs> huh? Is that a voice coming from my headphones? Um, me. Offer me flowers. I'll be waiting. Yuri? Okay, I'll for sure go offer some tomorrow. I'll bring you new flowers. <laughs> no one's here, right? Wait, it looks like she doesn't see the shadow reflected in the mirror. Hey, Ami, food's up. Uh, okay, be right there. I saw it. I heard Ami's voice too. Really? So you really are reading thoughts from Blood Ravenway? It's like a special form of psychometry. We call it blood bloodmetry. That's such a stupid name. <laughs> I have a power like that. Hey Panda! How's it going? How are you doing? Welcome in, friends. Um it's hard to believe, but what I saw is real. I'm not imagining things. I saw that you started Danganronpa uh, yesterday, day before? How are you liking it? Little did she know she was being haunted by a cosplay ghost with cat ears. <laughs> the, wor the worst kind of spirit to follow you. <laughs> also, how was your Civ stream? Um... <laughs> So, what was in the vision? I let Hazuki know everything from the vision. What? Yuri's voice came from her headphones? Why would she do that to Ami? No, that wasn't... Kakuya did it. The shape I saw in the mirror, I'm sure of it. But why would she do that? Why else? To get Ami to make an offering. Also, thank you, Ali, for getting that shout out out there. That's the game Kakuya set for her. And you disappear if you lose the game? Does that mean Ami disappeared because she couldn't make the offering? That's my guess. But, oh, poor Ami. Taking advantage of how much she cares for Yuri. That's unforgivable. I'm 
so pissed off. It doesn't seem to phase you. You're pretty dependable. Alright, I've decided. My game face is on. It's time to get serious. It all goes down tomorrow. The whole lending a hand thing? Exactly. For Ami, I'll go as far as I need to. Ugh, don't go overboard. Oh, yes, that's right. Mind if I have your phone number, Ravenway? It'd be, good, it'd be a good idea to be able to use to contact each other. No dumb, pointless calls, okay? Sorry, I didn't understand that sentence for a second. Uh, we'll see about that. I'll block your number, I swear. Now, how will someone who can't even change their ringtone be able to do that? Damn it, Ami, you even told her that. The two of us exchanged our cell phone numbers. Well, I don't want to overstay my welcome, so I'll start heading home now. Slate, you gonna be okay? I'm not too far from here. Don't worry. Good night. Okay, bye! Okay, bye! And without another word, Hazuki dashes off. Blood Matri, huh? I stare down at my hand. It's still hard to believe. But this weird power might help me get to the bottom of this, uh, of this mess. Man, I'm tired. Do you want me to... Is it sleep time? Is this you telling me to go sleep? Maybe I'll take a bath for once before going to bed. Okay, never mind. Let's go let's go take a bath, I guess. And open the door and go inside. I'm tired. It's been a while since I had a bath. Maybe I'll take one today. You should get clean, sir. Alright. May as well do something while it's filling up. Like like what? Like look outside? I don't Open the curtain? Sure. Why are we zooming in on the window like this? It's nothing in particular. Every time I open this, dust flies up. Okay, so that's a that's a no go. I guess I'll listen to some music. Another translation we've seen is hemomancy. That at least like I can roll with that. I can I can dig on hemomancy. Blood Mitri just sounds silly. It just sounds silly. <laughs> I understand what they're trying to say with it, and I understand that there's probably no like good one for one translation on it. But also Blood Mitri? <laughs> That's what we're going with? Uh, I grab a random CD and press play. That's the- that's- that's what you're settling on? Okay. <laughs> it's been long enough. I should check on the tub now. Just let it. Look. I don't have a particularly huge tub, right? It doesn't take mine very long to fill up, though. I don't hear the water running stop on its own. So why have we, like, left the bathroom to overfill our tub or something? Hot water isn't working right. That's not great. What's this? The tub is filled with murky liquid. What looks like long hair is floating on the surface and sticking to the corners of the tub. What's with my bathtub? Hot water? Nope. No steam. It's not hot? Damn it, what the hell is this? Well, I can't just leave it like this. Stick my hand into the tub? Uh, no! But the water can't just sit here. I can't just leave it like this. I'm gonna have to drain it at some point anyway. I tell you no and you do it anyway? What the fuck was the point of asking me to whether I wanted to do the thing or not? Shove my hand into the dirty water. Or the dirty, lukewarm water. Disgusting! It smells like the sewer. 
Suddenly I feel something thin, like hair, cling to my upper arm. Fuck. Yank my arm out, shuddering. What? What's going on? As if what I had just seen had never happened, I'm now staring at a tub full of clean hot water. Did I imagine that? Or maybe the pipes are malfunctioning. Examining the faucet, it looks like the hot, uh, hot knob is open to release hot water. But hot water isn't coming out. That's weird. I turn the knob off and turn it back on again, and... Clean hot water pours out. Faucet's being weird, but hot water's coming out like it should. Could have sworn a second ago it was full of dirty water. Do you want- I mean, what do you mean, you? Do you not like taking baths in tubs full of gross sewer water and hair? Is that not what everyone does to relax? <laughs> yeah, not not a fan of things things brushing up against my hands when I stick them in water either. Definitely not definitely not a, a thing that I wanna do. New bath bomb just dropped sewage and hairball. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do it when washing dishes. I, um, le legit, I have a lot of, I have a lot of issues with dishes in general. Um, I'm very specific about how I do dishes. If there's anything gross in that sink or in water, if there's standing water at all in my sink, I lose my mind. I will not touch it. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Cannot do. <laughs> I understand octopus. Uh, I still feel the sensation of sludge and what seemed like hair on my arm. <laughs> what was that? Like, I can, I think I've, <laughs> so I used to work in like a meat department. Um, one of the many jobs that I've had. And I could, I could deal with doing like the dishes there, but real talk? I think that's because I dissociated during me doing the dishes. Um, and I'm fine with doing that at work. Whatever. That's fine. That's okay. I don't want to do that in my own dang home, though. Please. Preferably. Ugh. Sigh. I don't feel like taking a bath anymore. I guess I'll just go to bed like this today. You could just shower. You could just hose down real fast, my guy. Collapsing on the bed, I shut my eyes. That dark liquid. What was that all about? Was I just imagining it? Or did it have something to do with me tossing that rock into the lake? No way to know for sure. With those thoughts running through my mind, my consciousness began uh, begins to fade. Okay. Game. Oh, it's a safe spot. Okay. I was like, are we... What's going on? What are we doing? We're just fading so that we can save. It's fine. Woof. Has it really only been an hour and a half? Goodness. Sun is already high in the sky when I wake up. Hazuki said she'd take care of it, but you never know when things will turn dicey. I'm more thorough with my warm-up and stretches, just in case. It's almost time to meet up. Better head to Black Rabbit. Also, the fact that we have our window even slightly open. I don't even give a shit that we have bars on the outside of it. But the fact that we just leave our, our window open scares the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Stick my face up to the peephole. Oh, hi. It's you. Flashy silver hair. It's... The occult idol... Idol! Momo Karuse. Great. Get it out of here. But... When I look close, her face looks like... <laughs> Momo Karuse is here. How's your guardian angel today? 
You know a lady, Hazuki, yes? I've come at her referral. She requested that I assist you. Um, would you mind terribly letting me in? Things would get troublesome if I'm seen. If you take too long, I may have to curse you to death. <laughs> uh, sure. Come in. His scowl. His fucking face during this thing is accurate. Also how I feel about this. <laughs> it's a trap. 100%. It's an absolute pleasure to uh, meet you. I'm Momo Kuruse. Yep, there's no mistake. The hair throws people off, but her face... Aren't you... Kazuki? Yes, you are correct. It's only natural that you uncover it. We are friends. Plus, I have less makeup on than usual. It's a good disguise. Hair and the face tattoo are spot on. Disguise? No, I am truly Momo Kuruse. The identity of Momo Kuruse is Kaoru Kazuki. Seriously? I'm quite serious. Is Kaoru... No, there's no M's in Kaoru Kazuki. Never mind. Were you surprised? Kind of always figured. I mean, your faces are the same if you just look. Well done, Ravenway. It's fascinating how silver hair and some makeup can keep, keep uh, most people from realizing. Not like Batman. I mean, I don't like her. <laughs> so, you know, I guess kind of like Batman. Like Superman. Just throw some glasses on. No one will ever recognize her. <laughs> um, also, I would be grateful if you kept this hush-hush paddle and you'll activate a curse that will twist off your tongue. Though, you may speak about it with Ami. Does she know too? Yep, Yuri let it slip. Ami was so pleased that I was popular. She cheered so loudly and she was as happy as uh, if she was the one who was the idol. But no one else knows and they mustn't find out. Why do you have this? <laughs> oh, I guess it's a global emote. Alright. Um. Aw, that's lovely, Panda! Congrats! <laughs> um, so you want to keep everything a secret and go around dressed like that? What are you thinking? It, it's unavoidable. I simply love the attire. My life revolves around the gothic and the occult. You must understand this sort of passion. Yeah, I mean, I guess. So you do understand. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh... No, it's good, it's good! I'm doing pretty alright. I hope you're doing well. It sounds like you're doing alright. Um... <laughs> no need to apologize. Uh, I had asked, uh, I saw that you started Danganronpa the other day. How are you liking it? It's a... one of my favorite games. <laughs> um... Of course, the reason I revealed my identity is so we can see the Urashima woman. The security guard today is said to be quite the passionate Momo Kuruse fan. Perhaps he'll allow us to enter if I curry his favor? Okay, sure, maybe, but if people find out, it'll be a big scandal. Oh, that. No need to worry. So long as I'm able to see a real ghost, it doesn't matter very much. She acts like it only makes sense. Guess the occult idol really is hardcore about this stuff after all. And this is to find the adorable Ami, of course. However, I also had a vendetta toward the Urashima woman. What? My grudge toward her canceling my great necromantic night concert is strong. I must get my vengeance. You can never tell when she's serious. What scares me is the thought that she might actually be serious about everything. Right then, uh, right then, shall we get going? Daylights, moonlights, <laughs> as an occult idol. Uh. <laughs> I. I don't know that it would be. It would be too. Off, off the mark to have an extremely specific type of idol. Honestly, I don't know enough about um, like K-pop, J-pop <laughs> idols and things like that to like really say like, oh yeah, oh this is perfectly normal or very oddly specific. But I, it wouldn't surprise me if if it was a thing. You know. I don't, I don't have that knowledge. <laughs> right? 
might be a th might be a thing that we have to look into. And by we, I mean probably me if I remember slash care enough to look into it later. <laughs> um, it might also just be a thing that they do in like in games because like I know uh, I played a few other visual novels that are like have the mention of like idols and stuff like that and some of their like their vibe is just extremely specific um that's fair <laughs> just take it all with a grain of salt I like I like these games um cause when they get to the scary stuff it's spooky um and the art is really cool and I love the monster designs uh I would say that NG from what I know of NG uh, it's definitely weaker in comparison to Deathmark, which was the first one. Um, the first one was so good. <laughs> I love it so much. And it's supposed to be, there's supposed to be a third one coming out sometime soon. I need to like double check on, on it because it got like announced last year, I believe. Um, so who knows when we'll get like an English version of it. But I think... I think it only took like a couple years for this one to get translated in full. Maybe not even that long. I'm gonna have to look into it. But I love the monsters in this game. <laughs> There's just a lot of padding around it, unfortunately. Uh, well, obviously not. It would only create a disturbance. Please wait a moment. Mumble Crazy pulls out a piece of scotch tape. Sticks it to her face over her temporary tattoo and peels it off over and over. Ouch, ouch. Once the tattoo is completely off, she quickly removes her wig. No fuss, no muss. Suddenly, the usual Kaoru Hazuki stands in front of me. Sorry to keep you waiting. No, that was pretty quick. It looked painful. Tape's only for emergencies because it's way too rough on my skin. I don't like using it. Oh. Now she's back to talking like she was yesterday. How they speak really makes a difference. Not that I made it seem like there was a difference between the two of them. Uh, only their passion toward the occult stays the same. Turns out I'm not a momoler, but Momo Karuse herself. Sorry I kept it a secret. Doesn't really matter. Idol or whatever, it's all the same. Why would I treat you any different? Oh, by the way, did anything happen last night after you got home? Sleep paralysis, maybe? Or a sudden nosebleed you couldn't get to stop? I immediately remember what happened in the bathroom. May as well to tell Hazuki about it. That's what happened. Oh, wow. That sounds like a spiritual curse. You must have brought back something from the lake. This is bad. Really bad. She may be saying it's bad over and over, but her face tells me she's actually excited. She goes nuts over supernatural phenomena. Uh, so this is kind of par for the course. Hey, Ravenway? I want to see if I can get it to happen. Do you mind? Knock yourself out. Make it quick, though. It's almost time to meet up. Thank you! Hazuki rushes to the bathroom. She tries filling the tub with hot water or turning on the shower for a while, but nothing weird happens. That's too bad. I wonder if spiritual curses only appear late at night. Or maybe I have to be by myself? That sounds terrible. Aren't you scared? No. <laughs> Not really. The broken water pipe could have caused all that water. You're so strong. Nothing phases you. Anyway, it's almost time. Let's go, Hazuki. Right! We leave and head over to the Black Rabbit. Hiccups. Amanami's not here yet. Feels like he rushed over here for nothing. What's this? Hazuki spots the missing person's flyers on the bar counter. If they're still out, that means Natsumi hasn't been all, uh, been by all day. Natsumi must be suffering a lot right now. We have to find Ami as soon as we can. Sorry I'm late. Got some things to do. Do you wait long? No, we just got here. What's this we? So, you came together? You two are getting along well, I see. What are you implying? This apartment is along the route I take to come here. 
we stopped by and we discussed the plan. Really talked about the plan. Just the two of you alone at Diablo's place. A spring finally sprung for Mr. All Serious. Don't be an idiot. Stop messing around. Seriously, your jealousy is not attractive, Amaname. Me? Jealous? That's a horrifying thought. Anyway, did you guys come up with a good idea? Yeah, we're sticking with Hazuki lending a hand. Not just a hand, but my whole body. My plan will stay a surprise, but I have no doubt that it'll work perfectly. I'm confident you are. We're counting on you. Alright then, it's time for us to get going. Oh, hold on for a second. Hey, Ravenweight? We should tell Amaname about your blood- blood imagery. Probably won't believe it, but it's important he knows. What are you talking about? I give Amaname the full rundown of last night, about how I got a vision from the blood stain on Ami's headphones, and about my blood matri ability. Oh, I'll admit I'm shocked. The two of you were together last night too? Not the point. I'm joking. Stop glaring at me. Uh, so what exactly is this blood matri? Unlike a cult lover over there, I'm a modern man who lives his life according to science. Can't possibly accept some ESB mumbo jumbo at face value. Maybe that's true, but... Hold on, let me finish. I say that, but I'll agree to believe you in, in part. This is all coming from you, after all. I have to leave your story about Kakuya, so I may as well keep riding this train. I'll wait until I actually th see this ability in action before I commit to the other half. Can't wait to find a bloodstain. Amaname is a realist. He's the fight organizer for the Yakuza, after all. <laughs> Are you- are you taking a nap, Allie? <laughs> Happy sleeping, Allie! <laughs> I, for a second, I thought that was another command that, like, wasn't working. It's all fine. Happy nap! I love you! Sleep well! Take care of yourself! <laughs> it doesn't work! It doesn't work! Travis! It's a regular thing now. You can go follow Allie, but Allie hasn't ever streamed. Allie stream went. <laughs> Why did no stop? <laughs> how do I how do I ban the term S O? <laughs> Hate it. Because of that, the oh, guy only accepts the reality that he experiences himself. Seeing blood matri in action might change his mind, though. There haven't been any secret streams. I would have known. Okay, it's time to go. Let's all sneak inside Yamato's shrine together this time, no matter what. That's true, y'all can still use banned terms. Fuck. Uh, let's all- wait, yeah. Can we not use SO, though? I keep- I keep thinking things are broken! And we're at the shrine entrance again. Okay, so we're here. From what we heard yesterday, the guard today is some kind of big fan of Momo Karuse. The two of you look like you have something in mind. Can I leave it to you? We got it covered. I nod at Hazuki. Yeah, there's something I want to try. Well, at least you're enthusiastic. Alright, let's see what we've got. Can I look at stuff real quick? Hey, band, go to bed. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you don't have to do the at. <laughs> the at is in entirely uh, optional. Good to know. <laughs> it's not banned. I just don't like it because I keep thinking things are broken. I approach the security station and try talking to the guard. Yes, may I help you? This guy sounds way more laid back than the one yesterday. Are you already closed for the day? Yeah, sorry about that. Due to unfortunate circumstances, the park will be closed at night. I hate having to tell you this after you've come all this way. It's so serious that even Momo's uh, concert was cancelled. Bingo! Sounds like our info, info that today's guard likes idols was spot on. It's just like we thought. I'll come back another day. Oh yeah, please do. 
got to go. Just as we heard. Let's go ahead with the plan. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. This is fine. This is acceptable. We do get we do get secret streams in, in Discord from Allie, so every so often. Uh, let's go ahead with the plan. Yeah, I'll give it a try. So what exactly are you planning on doing? Just watch. Here we go. Kazuki pulls a wig from her bag and quickly makes the necessary changes. How is it? Is it crooked? I think it's okay. And what appears is... What? But, no way. <laughs> Momo Kuruse is here. How's your guardian angel today? Guess this is Momo Kuruse's catchphrase. Even Amaname is floored. Takes him a couple of seconds, but he quickly accepts this new reality. I, I'm glad Maruhashi isn't here. But huh, that's what a hell of a secret weapon. And that's right. If the security guard is a fan of mine, then this certainly should work, don't you think? Yeah, an idol alone gives more of an impact than some girl playing the seduction routine. Even more punch if it's that person's favorite idol. But shouldn't you maybe add a bit more padding up top? My fans rather prefer smaller. Just sit back, relax, and watch from here. Big eye roll. Cruise confidently steps toward the security station. Excuse me. Yes, how can I... Y your Something clatters to the floor inside. The guard must be losing his shit. Oh, my apologies. I'm here on my own time, so I'd appreciate it if you don't make too much of a fuss. Oh, oh, y yes, of, of course! Idols have it rough, being chased by cameras all the time and everything. You is the correct response to the padding comment. Not the huffing. Actually, there's something I would like to ask of you. Yes, how can I help you? Could you let me inside the park? Huh? I've heard about the sad murder incident. The victim, she was a college student, yes? Her ghost must be wandering this place, burdened with all her regrets. I'm sure she's seeking salvation. I can feel it. Momo, could it be that you came here so you, uh, so you can rest her soul? Yes, that's it precisely. Comforting precious lost ghosts is Momo Kurose's mission in the living world. Please, Mr. Guard, I need your assistance. Uh, I, I'm really, really sorry. I can't do that. You really can't? No matter what? I would love more than anything to be able to help, be able to help you out, but with the murder incident, the higher-ups are breathing down our necks. I'm sorry. I see. Oh, Momo. Oh, I have an idea. I'll go and check inside the park for you when I'm on my patrol. I'll definitely find traces of the ghost. If there's a ghost, it's gotta be there. On Ryugu Island? Something terrible happened there a while back and... Suddenly a phone rings inside the security station. Oh, I have to take this. S sorry. Please excuse me for a second? The guard disappears into the back room. This is our chance? The guard's busy in the back room. Yeah, let's go while he's... But just then... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. The guard reappears. Damn, he's already back. Sorry, Momo. I'll be sure to take a look around the park for you, so please forgive me. If you still want to enter while it's closed... He hands her a pamphlet. Your best bet is contacting management using the phone number on this. I'm sure they'll hear you out if it's you, Momo. Oh, and also, here's our business card. He quickly scribbles something on the back and hands it to her. I, I wrote my phone number, so you can call if you need anything. You can consult me about anything. Th thank you so much. Gross. Kurose's face is twitching when she comes back. She yanks off her wig and tosses it aside. I failed. I probably was too vague on why I wanted to go inside. Told you, you should have put more padding. So, what'd you get for us? A festival guide and the guard's business card? He said the management's phone number is written on the pamphlet, but... 
take that pamphlet. You can do whatever you want with the cheap business card. He grabs a festival guide and looks for the phone number. Yep, there's definitely a number to contact management. But actually, I think that other phone number will be more useful. What other one? The security station phone number? There was a call earlier over there, right? This must be the number for that line. Yeah, but why would that be useful? You don't remember? He had to go to the back room to answer the phone. That means if we call the station... Oh, the person guarding the entrance will be gone. That's what you're saying. Sounds like it'd work. The call earlier was brief, so we didn't have time to sneak past. But if we can drag it out, there will be plenty of uh, time to get over the main gate. Then that means one of us will be the person to call the security station. The question is, who will it be? Diablo should obviously go in. Either me or Suzuki should stay behind to be the caller. I'll just think it over. I don't like anyone. I don't want to bring either of them with me. Yeah, no, we know. There's no, there's no cameras. I want to jump over. I go forward. Yeah, gate's locked tight. Can I use the guard's card? Take out the guard's card, but how am I supposed to? Okay, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. How about... Can't use it here. Um... <laughs> Should I do? Should we try calling? Uh, like Amaname said, make the phone call. Uh, we need to find a baby to use as a human shield, like in the first one. <laughs> Travis, are you suggesting we use Isaac as a human shield? Man, I miss, I miss child shield. <laughs> Uh, Amaname or Hazuki, who do I take with me on the investigation? I don't want to take either of them. Okay. Got it. It's probably a safer bet if I go with you. Alright, Hazuki, you make the call and keep an eye out for us. Wakata. Okay, I'll just make up something to talk about. Ready? Alright, I'm gonna call now. Hazuki dials the number. We can hear a phone ring inside the station before it stops. Oh, excuse me. It's me, Momo. There's something I forgot to ask earlier. Well, she's making things up on the spot. She gestures at us to go with her with her other hand. Let's move. Let's do this. We could quickly clamber over the gate while the guard's distracted. got the blood pumping. Uh, alright, let's search for clues about the Urashima woman. But where should we start? If there's anything to find, I'd bet it'd be at the do uh, boat dock for the rumor. From the rumor. You may have seen her, but I want to peek too. Plus, you were short on time yesterday, so I doubt you got a chance to really look around. True. But, a boat, huh? What's up? N no, nothing. Let's get going, Diablo. If you find something interesting, we can stop and take a look on our way. Great. I would like to look at everything. Um. Fountain? There's no water running in it. Probably because it's after hours. Checking inside the fountain. Looks like something sunk to the bottom. Dig around with my hand to pick up. A pacifier. Pacifier for babies. But, whoa! Whoa! fountain spews water up out of nowhere and just as suddenly stops on its own it scared the shit out of me jeez the wind picks up suddenly and something creaks nearby was that stroller always there I'm sure it's fine can I save I save? Is there a save button? Is there a save option? There is a save option right here. I want to look at the baby. I would like to see the baby. Where did this come from? 
hell should I know? Well, clearly a random abandoned stroller just happened to roll over this way. It's the only thing that makes sense. Can I put the pacifier in it? Take out the pacifier, but I can't think of a way to use it right now. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go the opposite direction. Thank you. Um <laughs> we're gonna walk away from the stroller. Poster offers uh info on the facilities refurbishing. Looks like they're replanting garden plants because they're getting old. Directory that explains everything inside the park. Seems I'm in the East Plaza right now. Map gives explanations on the trees and wildlife in the area. Apparently a lot of turtles live in Urashima Lake. Okay. That's cool. Um, <laughs> There's nothing else here. Oh, hey. Stroller's gone. Great! Let's go this way, then. Flyers posted to the fence. Probably been there a while. The ink's blurred, making the words all faded. Find a long, thin metal wire tied to the er uh, tired. I think I think it means tied. Tied to the corner of the fence. Something might have hung here or something. Take it with me just in case. Better wire. <gasps> Jesus. Hi. Okay. Great. Jump scares. You, you love to see it. A directory that tells you your current location. According to the map, Yamato Shrine is divided into three areas and a lake. There's an island with a shrine at the center of the lake, but you need a boat to get there. Mm. Can I look at this trash can? A wire mess trash can. Dig around in it just in case. Stick my hand inside uh, the trash can and rummage around! Hold on to this. Towel cat. What are you gonna do with that? I'll come up with something. What did I get? A small cotton blanket for babies found placed in the West Plaza's trash can. It has a name tag with Tamachan on it. A towel kit? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you say. That's fine. Don't... Don't understand what that means. But... I can imagine what it what it is. I suppose. Trash can. May as well dig through just in case. Baby blanket, towel get, same thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm assuming they mean those, like, <laughs> you know, towel get. I'm assuming they mean, like, one of those little, they're, like, little tiny blankets that you can use, or that doubles as, like, a birth rag or something, right? Nobody's calling me baby blanket anymore. <laughs> they're gonna get confused if you call me baby blanket. My name is towel get. Everyone's calling me Towel Cat now. Okay. I love how my sorry. I, <laughs> I love how the captions called it Towel Cat. Also, I have no idea what's happening. I accidentally hit auto and it's not stopping anymore. Um. Cotton blanket and also Japanese English word, which combines towel and blanket. I mean, I figured it was towel and blanket. I just. It's. Sometimes, sometimes the translations are, are weird, and I don't understand, and they make it more confusing than, than if they just expanded on it a little bit, you know? <laughs> um, uh, weird that those were inside a park trash can. It was a tie pin, and, and what else? Maybe a drunk salary man wiped his mouth with it after he threw up and then tossed it out. Don't say that. I've already touched it. I missed what I grabbed. I was too busy thinking about towel kits. A dirty necktie. 
and a tie pin. The gold pin uh, found in the trash can along with the necktie. The pin itself is thicker than the rest of it. Seems like it's the sturdiest part. It's found in the trash can at the boat dock. It's an ordinary regimental navy tie and it's fairly dirty with a number of twigs hanging off of it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What's in here? It's the boat rental booth. Shutters won't open. Looks like it's locked. Well, it's only natural. Can I... Okay. Um... Should we talk to Horrible Necktie for advice? I wish. Oh? Is there something shiny in the boat? If the boat floats inside the dock, let me look. Looking inside the boat, I spot a hair ornament with a ribbon. Seems like the decoration on it caught the light. This wasn't here last time. Something dark on it. Is this blood? Then this might be the perfect chance to test out blood matree. When a blood stain is found during an investigation, blood matree becomes available. Well, blood matree is activated, the memories contained within the blood stain can be read. Press the X button while the spot with the blood stain is uh, selected to activate it. <laughs> Do not the choker. Um. Okay. Great. Let's let's do it. Pick up the bloodstained hair ornaments. Hi, Devo. You can do this. Just suck it up and do it. I take a deep breath and touch the stain. I was kind of hoping that we would get through this chapter in a single sit through down. We still have like 50 minutes. I'm not sure that we're gonna get this done. That laugh though. Oh! <laughs> oh! This is fine! Where's that button? Hold on. There it is! Look! I can just show off the whole the whole picture. This is she's got turtles around her! I'm sure this is fine. Nothing could have prepared me for what I see through the blood. The corpse of a young woman floats in the water. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to do a redeem, you can do a redeem. Let's go. A long-haired woman stands upon the surface. Her stomach is big, swollen like that of a pregnant woman. Is that the Urashima woman? She's floating. My child, not the, not full of activia. She's a bunch of turts in a trench coat. <laughs> bunch of turtles in a nightgown. Cut off and accompanied by pained breaths, a woman's voice echoes in my head. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I saw her. The Urashima woman, she's real. Did you see something from that blood? The Urashima woman killed someone, I think. It was that college girl from the rumor. Sorry, I'm like burpy. Come on, seriously? There's no way that that's impossible. <laughs> I can't believe it either, but I saw it. Whether I like it or not, hair ornament wasn't here yesterday. Are, are you saying the ghost of the college girl brought it? You wouldn't know that it wasn't here yesterday. You weren't here with me yesterday. It's easy to, to dismiss it as impossible, but after a vision like that, I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. Great! The rental boat floats inside the dock. The boat is empty. Um, okay, but can I use it? <laughs> can I? I need to get to the. I need to get in the boat first. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like go forward and it won't let me. Uh, why? Boat is empty. 
Must be restricted area. They, I... Oh, wait. I think I'm supposed to, like, break in here? Can I use the metal wire? Take out the metal wire, but I can't think of a way to use it right now. Wait, there's, like, a way to combine stuff, I think. No? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just making shit up. Maybe there's not actually a way for me to do anything, and this is it. This is the end of the line. It's like it's locked. Well, it's only natural. Hello? Hello. Holy shit. Hi. I, it is your father. Yes, I'm streaming. I apologize for all streaming. What are you... No. Okay. Okay, bye! Bye! Goodbye, everybody across the globe. <laughs> Fruity specifically says hello, Keisha's dad. <laughs> hello, Fruity. Uh, hope you're doing well. Octopus Tea Party also says hello. Now hello. they're all saying goodbye. Hello, Octopus Tea Party. Goodbye, everyone. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't know, but go. Go, I'm goodbye. Busy. Goodbye. <laughs> bye, be gone. Oh my god. So it's fine. I just heard the knocking, but, like, this game has a lot of weird, like, ambient sounds. And so I wasn't sure if it was you or the game. Holy shit. Alright. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just needed to know if I needed the car or not. I do not. <laughs> okay. We're good. That <laughs> That's my dad. You've all heard my dad now. Sometimes you can hear my dad on stream. Today was one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> just just my haunted dad it's fine don't worry about it oh that scared the bejeebus out of me it's fine um okay what am i doing can i <laughs> it's a good time <laughs> okay i don't know what i'm supposed to do so we're gonna back away uh that scared me, honestly, more than anything. Like I said, like, I could hear, like, <laughs> my dad's usually very good about announcing his presence when he comes upstairs now, because he knows it scares me. But I heard him, like, knock, and I was like, what is this noise? <laughs> uh, it's fine. Everything is great. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Um, oh, okay, brain is back. I'm functioning again. I know what's that. Look. Familiar stroller. Can I... No blood stains anywhere. It's shape. That stain. It's the same one we saw in the central plaza earlier. No way it up and moved on its own. Then someone must have... There's a book inside the stroller. A book that reads prenatal yoga for a blissful delivery. It has a black stain on it. Uh, it sounds like we can touch that, but before we do, I have to pee. I have to pee. Because I got spooked, and it's now pee time. <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're gonna use the restroom, right? We're gonna go, we're gonna take a very, very short break. I am glad it didn't tell someone to go to bed. <laughs> Um, but we'll be right back, okay? This is gonna take us a very short minute.
Okay, and we're back. Uh, sorry, I had to run downstairs and move some laundry as well. <laughs> uh, but we're here. Everything's okay. It's all fine. Alright. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I don't know where anything is anymore. <laughs> Again, trying to, like, use my phone as a makeshift uh, stream deck. Great. I love it. But I need to remember to actually use it. <laughs> okay. Um, there was a spooky, scary stain on that book, wasn't there? Pick up the stained book from the stroller. We got a yoga book. This could be a blood stain. Bracing myself, I place my palm on the book. What new terrible sights will we see this time? dark. I can only hear sounds. It's an ore hitting the surface of water. Through the darkness, a woman's strained breathing drifts to me. I'm finally here. A dull sound. Like something heavy dropped to the ground. That's right. I have to put this book in too. I hear something opening. The space in front of me brightens slightly. Is that a sanctum over there? Goodbye. What the hell? Hey, what'd you see this time, Diablo? Someone was trapped. I think they were in a suitcase? At the end, they were thrown into the water. The hell? Did you just witness a murder? Amaname abruptly stops talking. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, 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 over there. The lake. Look at the lake. Oh! Ma'am. Ma'am. Excuse you. Excuse! Ma'am? I would like to, to not fight you at this moment. Shaky pointing finger directs my gaze to someone standing on the surface of the lake. It's dark, so I can barely make it out, but is that a woman? Her stomach looks swollen. A pregnant woman in a white dress, standing on water. I've seen this before. Is she the Urashima woman? Not the breathing. <laughs> the vision was all from the perspective of a turtle. Look, I believe it. Oh, I missed that last one. It's fine. Uh, the voice carried over to me by the wind doesn't sound like it came from a human throat. Damn, this is bad. One wrong answer and we end up, uh, end up like that college girl. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Taking a walk? Nope, that's a bad answer. That's not... Okay. Is it looking for someone? The Hiroshima woman is staring at us intensely. After a moment of uneasy silence, the eerie voice speaks again. The baby, tell me. Think I saw it over there? Nope. Probably point to her stomach. Probably looking for someone and then point to her stomach. Hiroshima woman just keeps staring at us. Liar. Ma'am, please, listen, listen, ma'am. Suddenly it's as if water is pouring down my throat and nose. I can't get any air in. I'm hit with dizziness. It's like I'm suffocating. 
My body's getting harder and harder to move. I have to get away from here. With all my limbs locking up on me, I frantically run as my consciousness slowly fades. <laughs> we all, we all want the baby turts to be a little more involved. The moment I can't move my body anymore, I feel like I trip over something. Oh. Look! Speaking of the baby turts! There they are! <laughs> Last thing I see is my strangely darkened arm floating over my head. <laughs> um, okay, that's fine. We can, we can try this again. I think that was, I do remember complaining a little bit from what I played of this game that like some of the, some of the puzzles didn't seem like as, they didn't make as much sense. Like, <gasps> hi Cyril. Hi friend, how are you doing? Um, like, they're, they're fine. Like, with the last one, you explore everything and you end up, like, putting the story together uh, and figure out, like, what the ghosts need, aside from, like, the couple of, like, translation issues that we had. And there were uh, obviously a couple that were just, like, a little weird, but that's fine. Uh, it's not, it's not SO anymore. It's, you gotta do the full shout out. You have to type out shout out now. I'm doing good, though, Cyril. <laughs> We're fighting my bot and my mods constantly. Um, it's fine. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, what was I saying about this? Yeah, there were context clues. I felt like there were more context clues in the last game than this one. This one just sort of expects you to guess. <gasps> I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm really tired, but like... We're having a good time. I did a lot today, to be fair. This is, this is an extremely pro-sleep channel. <laughs> Just us constantly screaming at each other to go to bed. Um, now I've done a lot of a lot of work with with my bots and stuff. Yeah, just woke up. Go to bed. <laughs> Slept fifteen hours. Go to bed. Um. Yeah, hi Cyril, I love you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> uh okay, let's try this again. It's lounge life, always, forever. It's fine. Oh jeez. Um, I shitted. And farted. <laughs> Cyril! You missed it! I <laughs> Oh, it works. Oh, it works. I forgot to uh, tie that sound to any specific command. And so earlier when I started stream, it was just going off constantly because it just assumed that anytime anyone did anything in chat, it needed to play that sound. So it was just constant. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I put it together pretty quickly. But it was a lot. Um, pro sleep channel, but also we're all fake as hell about it. Chat full of sleep posers. Facts, though. I mean, I am a sleep poser, and we all know this. Yeah, nonstop shit. Nonstop shit. It was good. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's not. That's not Allie. Travis, that's not Allie. That was Octopus saying that. I know they have the same color. I know they use the same color in chat. That well, was that was Octopus. Allie's asleep. Unless she's talking to you in person and you're and you're adding her in chat. <laughs> right? Travis, go to bed. Hi, Mimi! It's wild over here. How are you doing, friend? How's it going? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna move ahead so we can get out of this bad heartbeat um welcome in friend <laughs> thank you for, for for doing the show now have you not showered yet go shower get uncovered by the hundred year old house gunk 
Um, also, I haven't seen my content stuff. Like, warnings and links and stuff pop up in a while, so I don't think my timer's working, but that's fine. There's the content warnings and the link if you want them. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it, Fruity. You did it so good! But howdy, friends! Welcome in! How's everyone doing? Okay, the stroller. I need to answer these questions properly, and like I said, I think the answers are I was looking for someone, and... Yeah, and then pointing at her belly? That's at least better than we did last time. She keeps staring at us. Ma'am, please. After a moment of uneasy silence, the eerie voice speaks again. It is spookums. It's so spookums. Uh, monster design in these games is very, very good and has endeared me to it because of that. And right now we're doing, we're doing, doing it bad. Actually, never mind. We've done it so good. We've done it so good. <laughs> we're investigating spooky spirits. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, I mean, you could definitely, you can try. If you, if you, I don't know. Did the- did Dougie Buse work earlier when someone tried it? it? Isn't your baby there? Why? Stomach. Why? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I've- I've resolved so many problems now. Also, thank you, Mimi, for the contribution! I guess there are new people in- well, not new people, but people have joined chat since I announced earlier. We do have a new community challenge up, um, where... We will do a 12 plus hour long stream playing uh, Alien Isolation, but modded. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Y'all are doing it so bad. Is she gone? So thank you, Mimi, for the contribution to that. <laughs> uh, the night breeze drifting across the lake pulls the layer of sweat that's drenched my face. I'd just like to say, I'm fucking glad we didn't just get killed. Oh, but you did. Oh, but you did! Diablo, Raven Way. <laughs> hey, you alright? Your heart didn't give out from shock, did it? It was a near thing. It's still trying to jumpstart again? Do you believe the Urashima woman's real now? Yep, sure do. I'm not so stubborn as to deny it after what I just saw. Anyway, she was saying something like, Tell me? The baby, tell me. That's what she said. What was she talking about? That stroller, it belonged to her. Yeah, seems so. Then, uh, that, uh, that means the book you got the memory from also belongs to the Urashima woman, right? Fruity, please. <laughs> then that memory earlier... Was that how the Urashima woman died? It's possible. So, Diablo, where was she killed? I couldn't see much, but I think there was a sanctum? What the hell, really? It was only for a second, but I saw a sanctum with a red door. That might be our clue. If I'm remembering the directory correctly, there's an island in the middle of the lake and it houses a sanctum. Amaname goes to the directory next to the bench to the bench to double check. It's there, all right. Looks like the island's called Ryugu Island, and the sanctum is Tam uh, Tamate Sanctum. Seems everything's named after the story of uh, Urushima Tauru. Guess we need to go to the Tama uh, Tamate Sanctum. The Urushima woman might be there. Oh, I can't say I ever want to see her again. Cross the lake, huh? We'll need a boat. I assume swimming's off the table. A boat huh? Yeah, that's what it'd come down to. Uh... It does not. No. So, sound commands are the only ones that can happen in the middle of a sentence. Regular, regu regular commands still just need to be done the way that they were before. Um... Aww, octopus! Thank you for 
continuing your sub. I appreciate it, friend. <laughs> gonna be a little sappy i was gonna <laughs> um it just it means a lot that that people like to hang out it just i don't know i'm gonna be sappy but also not articulate super well the sappiness that i feel but also you don't you don't gotta you don't gotta sub if you don't wanna or you can't that's okay too you just be in here means means enough for me <laughs> I love y'all. Hi. My brain go brr right now. Uh, the rental boat floats uh, beside the dock. Bet I could get Ryugu I or get to Ryugu Island this way. But I'm missing some important equipment. No sign of the oars. Things a rental boat, right? And wouldn't they be in the shack over there? Good trembly emotes. Also, hi Emmy. <laughs> Y'all are great, though. Real talk. Makes sense that they put the oars away after the park closes. Okay, so then can I break into this now? Shutters won't open. Looks like it's locked. If there's any place that'd have oars, it'd be here. Looks like we'll have to do something about the shutter lock if, I, if we want to check inside. Cheap cylinder lock. How oh, basic. I can, uh, I can open this easily. Really? Well, you are a son of the Yakuza. Oh, hey, that has nothing to do with this. I had my own reasons for learning. Which were... A while back, I was convinced Pops had locked up a gun in the safe in his study. I had a phase where I was all about them, so I went through a lot of trouble to open it. So I pretty much learned the basics of picking locks. And did you find it? The gun? Yeah, it was there alright. A fine gun-shaped lighter, appearing real in every way other- uh, right down to the weight. That's fair. <laughs> but hi again. Welcome, well, welcome back to chat, I suppose. I hope your drawing is going well. <laughs> Apparently a friend from Sicily gave it to him. Your dad is, uh, playful. It's a real problem for the family. Oh, I got off topic. Let's focus on this. I'll need tools to pick locks. I can make them from random junk, but... Um, do you have anything on you? What kind of things do you need? Let's see. With two things, it should be doable. Tension wrench stand-in and a thin, sturdy metal wire. Check my bag. Get me two decent substitutes and I might be able to do something. Do you want this wire and this pin? The pin? Uh, why? Hand the metal wire to Amaname. I see. Get one other item that looks like it'd work for lockpicking and show both to me, then. <laughs> is she back? She is back there, isn't she? Hey, Lamia. Hey, Lamia. Oh. Oh, she's looking. Hey, baby. What are you doing, Stinky? Can I come here? Can't see. Hi, Devo. <laughs> the cover that I have on the couch goes all the way down to the floor um and as I was trying to talk to her I could see the bo bottom of the the cover shift and move and it scared the crap out of me it's just Devo it's just Devo oh well oh boy <laughs> it is stinky piss baby she's doing real good though hi llama I'm not talking to you Devo I love you but you always get attention from me. Always. <laughs> Got all the pets here right now. Well, Farley's off doing other things, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We got, we got the stinky babies. Everything is great. <laughs> uh, take out the dirty necktie. Oh wait, I didn't want the necktie. I wanted the pin. No, and I don't want to look at it. I want to hand the pin over. Please, game! Game! I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Tie pin. Hand the tie pin to Amaname. If you think about it, I don't think we can use either of these. What do you mean? 
tie pin is too big and the metal wire is too soft for you uh for use as a thin sturdy metal wire clearly neither can be a, a wrench stand in i think he's back to you do you have anything better no uh <laughs> i don't know what these words mean either so this isn't helping me any you want the hair ornament and hand the hair or ornament to amaname Let's see one other item you should tell me now sir if this works or not hair ornament pin could be used as a thin sturdy metal wire i'll hold on to it no matter how you look at it the tie pin can't work as a wrench stand in would you like to explain to me what a wrench stand in is Tie pin metal wire. Do I not have? Don't give me the thing back. Just keep it. <laughs> One of those types of trash cans you find at theme parks. Is there anything new in here? Nothing. Great. You love to see it. Okay, so the <laughs> the hairpin is what we want. Nothing else inside the fountain? Great. Was there a We are inside the park at the moment. Poster offers info on its thing. We already looked at that. We are inside the park and I'm trying to find... <laughs> do you? Do you? It's close right now so the lights are off. If someone is sneaking in, I appreciate the lack of light. Sure. But also... Can you... That's a boat. Droplets of water echo across the lakeside. Look over there. It's a boat. Maybe it drifted here with the wind. Just wanted to see if there's anything. Um, no new jump scares. Great, you love that. Boats washed ashore. Don't see any oars with it though. It's bobbing just shy of being grounded. If I pull it in, I can check inside. If we form a chain, we can reach it. Give me a hand, Amoname. Amoname? Sure, but I'll be on the shore end, okay? Uh, why? Don't want my clothes to get dirty. You're in black, so it's fine. You won't be able to see any stains. Come on, let's get to it. Can he not swim? The reasoning for our positions is highly suspicious. And for some reason, Amoname's the one running things. Okay, and go i lean out on cue just a bit further come on try harder can't you see i'm already doing all i can okay good just a bit more there we wobble and just as i'm about to fall i snag the edge of the boat and pull it to shore i expected nothing less what a strong young man just zip it making me do all the dirty work just putting the right person on the right job. You're the one with the muscles. Blame yourself. Time to search the boat. All that's inside is the trash skeleton of an umbrella. Can I use that as this supposed wrench stand-in thing? You're gonna take that junk? Shut it. It could be useful later somehow. Whatever, man. Do what you want. Though it's rather sad looking for a trophy of our teamwork. <laughs> that emo always scares me because i forget that it moves just a little bit and i think my eyes are like freaking out or something it's fine okay let's go ahead and do the broken umbrella and the hair ornament Finally, we've got a protagonist who will just pick up random garbage. Now we just need some shoe, door shoe dirt. I don't know that he'll ever pick up shoe dirt, Fruity. I wouldn't get your hopes up. Mm, the hair ornament of pink could be used as a thin, sturdy metal wire. And if I miss with a broken umbrella... Cashew pork, cashew pork. <laughs> why, is she, why 
why is she saying that? Thank you, Mimi, the three months. Thank you, friend. I appreciate the sub. Enjoy your wonderful wacky emotes. <laughs> Not the not the case you pork hype. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Y'all are great though. Also, we we Sagey approves. We pass. Congratulations. We've done it. <laughs> Credit goes to Mimi. Mimi did it for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mind if I take these apart? Knock yourself out. I just found them lying around. Okay. Cool. Then let's get started. First, could you use your strong muscles to take this umbrella apart? <laughs> take, please. Piece of cake for you, yeah? Well, yeah. He hands me the broken umbrella and I follow his, dir his directions on dismantling it. <laughs> did a bad, Travis. I'm sorry. I hook the umbrella, uh, umbrella skeleton to a pole and yank out the shaft. Once I pull off the rest of the pieces, I start folding the shaft. Oh, not bad. It's looking good. Hey, is this really going to work? Uh. <laughs> it's a lot of talk about muscles and shafts over here. And then they get, and then they get, Look, Seiji's only gross about ladies because he uh, hasn't hasn't come out just yet about the fact that he doesn't like ladies. And that's fine. You take your time, buddy. But also, I, you and Diablo gotta hold hands now, okay? I've determined that you have to hold hands now. Thank you! Don't worry, don't worry. It's a simple tool. Come on, hand it over. You're done. Here, all yours. I hand the dismantled umbrella to Amaname. He starts breaking it up and bending pieces. Ugh, this thing's pretty sturdy. I'm surprised you were able to snap them so easily. You just gotta build up some strength. I can train you sometime if you want. I'll pass. I'm more the type to let others do the heavy lifting for me. Alright, it's done. Seiji is the bottom confirmed. <laughs> and here it is! The makeshift wrench! Now please hold for uh, just a moment, honored customer. What store are we, uh, we in suddenly? Amaname takes apart the hair ornament and strengthens the pin portion. So strong! So strong! <laughs> then he shoves a stick made from the umbrella and the pin into the keyhole. Gib, 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 gib! He fiddles around for maybe 10 seconds before stopping. What's wrong? Nothing, I'm done. The shutter's unlocked now. You're shitting me. It's already open? Is it that surprising? Anyone can do it as long as they have the right tools. Ostrich strong. <laughs> Though I may have used a bit too much force. Kind of broke the tools. Come on, let's hurry and check inside. Right. Hair ornament and broken umbrella broke. You know, I was thinking. What if we went through all this and it ends up the ores aren't in here? Don't even think that. How unfortunate would that be? I open the shutter and slide open the window. This'll work. Well, no, uh, they're normally right around. Shining my flashlight around the dusty shed, I spot ores in different colors lined up on the wall. His name is Diablo. <laughs> His name is Diablo Raven Way. Um, but we had to spell Diablo as, as fucked up as possible. While also taking advantage of the fact that we had an eight character limit, so. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Oh, that's boring. They're actually in here. Of course they are. Let's carry these back to the boat. It's Amaname, Amoname, and not I'm a gnome? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend I know how to say his name. I'm just rolling with what, I, what I'm saying. <laughs> he is a bit of a- he is a bit of a gnome though, isn't he? I- there's- I- I- 
we're not, so... <laughs> there are some things in, in Japanese that I'm like, I know how to pronounce that, and other things that I'm like, ah! I'm asking nicely. Someone's calling me. Gross. Yo. Oh, it's just you, Hazuki. What's up? <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think Fruity is secretly an anime expert. There's lots of things that Fruity thinks, uh, thinks they're, they are. It's like, it's 99. The year 1999. Don't worry about it. Uh, ask me anything about a Kage and only a Kage. Uh, things might be moving over here. A guard just went into the park. I think he's going on patrol. You should hurry up and get out of there. Got it. Thanks. But yeah, it's 1999. This phone makes sense. What's up? Azuki says a guard is coming this way. Not good. Guess we better beat it then. We've got no other choice. Let's use cover to make our way back to the entrance. We'll reach the central plaza. Amanami steps running in front of me. Not good. Look, the guard's coming toward us. Um, this is the year to party like it is. Absolutely. Not the faceless guard. Over by the exit, a bouncing light that looks like a will-o'-the-wisp approaches. It can only be light from the guard's flashlight. Getting caught is the last thing we want. Should we dive for the bushes over there? It's kind of far. It'd be easier to knock him out. So barbaric. Ever try solving your problems without using your fists? Not even once. Oh fuck. Okay. Um. Die for the bushes. Nope, that's a bad that's a bad choice. Can I throw a rock at him then? In just one year society is going to be wiped out by the millennium bug. Y2K is a thing! They mentioned it at the beginning of the game. Dash over and slip behind the bushes. Kamanami moves to follow me. But he's too fucking slow. Who's there? Flashlight immediately finds me. Shit, run! We make it out the main entrance, but we get caught by the cops called in for backup out in front. Because, you know, messing up the wants just absolutely decimates us. Okay, let's try again. Um, we'll finish this little section, then we'll call it here for the day. I'm gonna throw a rock at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we know. We understand. Oh. Go ahead and skip through that. And throw a rock. Great! We've done it. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> that is, that's my general, my general complaint about this one, is that there were, like, context clues in the first one, for the most part. Um, this one just kind of makes you guess, and so you have to do all the things all of the time. <laughs> Surprise. It's actually a Sailor Scout. Yeah, there were, I mean, there were a couple in the first one, definitely, that were sort of, a uh, oh, you messed up, that's, that's it, but, like, you weren't that bad. Scoop up a rock from the pavement. Hey, what are you going to do? Quiet and watch. Pull my arm back, then throw the rock at the flashlight. Whoa! My aim's true. The rock struck, uh, the rock strikes the flashlight and knocks it out of his hand. Not bad, not bad! Now's our chance to hide. I die for the bushes and hold my breath. Hold LZ. ZL. Whatever it is. <laughs> to hold breath. Hey, where'd you just hide? The guards picked up the flashlight. Or the guard? The guard picked up the flashlight again and is coming closer. Right. Rock, paper, flashlight. Flashlight wins. Or rock wins every single time. Find us at this rate. Can you distract him with another rock? Try. Need him as far away as possible. Loud sound might do it. Okay, where should I throw the rock? Flashlight at the fountain. The lamppost? The fountain? 
I don't know where I am in relation to anything, game. <laughs> I toss the rock at the fountain in the center of the plaza. Did the sound come from the water? The guard moves away from us in order to check the source of the sound. Hey, what are you gonna do? Isn't this the perfect time to run? No, we should keep hiding. I've done it all bad. <laughs> I don't always pick rock. That is incorrect. Shouldn't do anything rash. I wait a little while longer. What? What are you two doing over there? Flashlight illuminates us from behind. It seems the patrol reaches the boat deck earlier than we thought. Uh. Shit. Run. I'm not, though. Okay, fine. I'll be fine. Can we get out of the main entrance, but... Okay. Listen. Game. Listen. Game. Listen, game. <laughs> that seems like a very pretty move that you would do. That seems like a thing you would do. Okay, let's throw a rock at him. And then, I guess let's throw it at the lamp post? Okay. Toss the rock at the lamppost on the other side of the plaza. The rock strikes the glass covering over the light and shatters it. What? What was that sound? The guard moves away from us in order to check for the source of the sound. <coughs> Excuse me. What are we gonna do? Isn't this the perfect time to run? Let Amaname escape first? too visible if we both go. You run first. Good idea. That way we can uh, back each other up. He nods to me and quietly leaves the bushes. I wait a few beats, but it doesn't seem like the guard noticed Amaname run. Pretty safe bet that he escaped, but now I have a problem. I can't move my from my spot. The guard won't leave. I mean, he has to eventually. Suddenly, a muffled ringing comes from the guard's chest. <laughs> Let Gnome go first. Should we just refer to him as Gnome now? Is this what you want? Oh, that's my phone. The rattled guard answers his phone. His attention's directed toward the call. That's probably my only chance to escape. But first... These big oars will attract too much attention if I carry them around with me. I'll hide it here. Easy enough to grab when I come back next time. Alright, his name is Gnome then. Officially. That done, I silently slip from my hiding spot and head towards the main entrance. Hey, we did it! And it only took like four tries! Hooray! <laughs> I hop back over the gate and now I'm back at the entrance to Yamato Shrine. Hazuki waves to catch my attention from across the Tori gate. Uh, Gnome stands next to her, his phone to his ear. He smirks when he spots me and puts his phone away. When I say, oh, when I saw Gnome come back to, uh, by himself, I started panicking. I thought he left you behind. I was, so, I was this close to slapping him. I'm shocked and offended. Do I look so cold-hearted that I'd do that to my best friend? I threw in the Hail Mary. So Diablo, did it help? Sounds like Gnome was the one who called the security guard. I mean, I could just refer to him as his, by his first name, which is Seiji, but I kind of like calling him Gnome, so. Yeah, though I could have managed just fine without your help. Oh, look at you being shy. Don't make me punch you. Come on, lovebirds. Quit messing around and let's get out of here. The guard will be back any second now. Uh. Makes him slightly less terrible if he has a funny name. Fair enough. We leave Yamato Shrine. I think we've gone far enough. I 
think a save spot's coming up, so we might just go until then. We stop for a breather and share the info we gathered. That was really dangerous. If it had been anyone other than you, they would have been caught. Such precise aim. We got so close. We managed to find the ore. We really wanted to go to Ryugu Island. Man, are you carefree or what? You only say that because you didn't actually see the Urashima woman. By the tremble in his voice, he seems to be remembering what happened back then. Or back there. Must have been great. No fair gnome. I wanted to see her too. On the flip side, Hazuki looks unruffled. But what's up with that scene you saw through your bl uh, blood matree? You mean how someone was trapped in the suitcase? It looked shady. But if that's what the Urashima woman saw before she died, it might be connected to her source. Source? It's what makes a person turn into a ghost or spirit. It's usually an event that caused them to be left with a grudge or regret. Grudges, huh? Hey, you there. Or you three. Middle-aged man I don't know approaches us. What are you doing at Yamato Shrine? Place is off limits at night right now. Why are a bunch of punks coming out of there at this time of night? Are you a cop? Sir, legally you have to tell me if you're a cop. Seems this guy saw what we were doing and followed us over here. Things will get messy if he snitches to the cops or something. A good punch to the face might shut him up. I'm about to pull back in preparation when Gnome grips my fist. We wouldn't want to make a scene in a place like this, now would we? Leave it to me, Diablo. Okay. I'll do my best to meet expectations. He did cock his fist back, it's true. He lightly pats my shoulder and turns toward the guy. First name, middle, last name, man. <laughs> man, middle. Uh, we have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps you've mistaken us for someone else. Go ahead, play dumb. <laughs> uh. <coughs> but I've got proof. I took pictures of you and that kid in black there. Shrine is pitch black at night. You couldn't possibly have a clear photo. You're basically pushing an empty threat, right? You talk big, all grown up. You don't seem to be afraid of anything at all. Isn't that right, uh, sagey gnome? Oh, you know who I am. All lightheartedness drops from his tone. He's ice cold. Or he's ice cold now. His eyes sharp. Oh. oh yeah. I know very well. You're the only son of the boss of the gnome family. Taizou gnome. Treating me like a criminal because I'm a Yakuza son is a violation of my civil rights. Stop pretending like you're innocent. I know who you are under that sheep disguise. I know very well what sort of shithead you really are. Profiting off fight, uh, fight betting is just the start. You use that money in your underworld ties to dig up people's weaknesses and threaten them. It's the gnome crime family. Your politicians and high-ranking members of the police force are already in your pocket. Quite the balls on you at your age, sir. Ah, oh, there was an opinion piece like that in one of your, those trashy weekly rags. Prince of Threats lurks in the darkness of Shinza. Truth revealed, was it? <laughs> Not the tiny little criminals with the big bushy beards. <laughs> Horrifying. Although, as I recall, this so-called Prince of Threats wasn't named. Of course I know it's you. I was the one who wrote that article. I see. So that must make you the rumored Ban? Bon? Ban. You know of me. I'm honored. His name is Ban. I don't I don't care enough to try and do anything. I guess that article put a bit of, bit of fear into you. No, I only remembered because the headline was so tasteless. Mr. Ban, would it be fine with you if you withdrew for today? I'm not it's not exactly pleasant being defamed in front of your friend. Gnome pulls a few ten thousand yen bills out from his wallet. Looking at them? Uh, Ban's smile is vulgar. <clears throat> sure. Fine. Give you some time to consider. I'm nice toward children like that. The guy snatches the bills and shoves them into a pocket in his pants. Didn't even hesitate. He must make these sorts of deals all the time. Um. Uh, thought it was man, but it was Ban the whole time! 
So his name is Middle Ban. First name Middle, last name Ban. All right, I'll make contact with you another time. Look forward to it. Nothing you can run. I already know what you look like, or what you look like. Sorry. And also, Middle A Ban. Be more careful if you're gonna pursue looking for spirits. Information is your greatest weapon. Investigate. Hi, Devo. If you don't think about what you're doing, you'll get yourself killed. Hi, sweet boy. <laughs> the man then disappears into the crowd. Who was that guy? Why does he know about spirits? He's a journalist, right? Monthly Ooparts uh, writes about spirits, so maybe he's an occult journalist? He's not that above the board. No, Masa ba uh, Ban. He's an infamous, unethical writer type. No, you've got you've gotten his name wrong, Seiji. It's Middle A Ban. Fruity. <laughs> Please. But <laughs> loves to dig into the dealings of yakuza and businesses to find scandals to profit off of. For those of you who can't see it, Fruity Spoos banned Middle. They call me Middle Cock Arms Ban! Please! That's a- that's a name! That's a name! I'm also just- <laughs> Because we've been playing Chicken Police, literally just imagining his arms as roosters. This is horrible. I hate the image that's in my head right now. Uh, <laughs> person like that knows about spirits? That's rather strange. It's a reverse chicken police situation where it's normal, like, human head, human body, rooster arms. But, like, it is, it's their faces. Yeah, three roosters in a police coat. <laughs> And of course, the, of course the roosters are looking right at you. Of course they are. I hate this. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're gonna keep moving on. Not necessarily. I mean, I've heard of an idol who's crazy about the occult. That's kind of rude. But I can't deny it. Just leave that guy to me. I'll take care of him. No, you're making this worse because I just imagined it was just their heads as the as the hand, but now I'm imagining the chicken police. I'm imagining Sunny Sunny Featherland on an arm, arms and all. He's got his own arms as an arm. Oh, what are you planning on doing? I'm moving on. I'm I'm moving on. I am out of this conversation. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. I won't do anything rough. I'll just have a nice talk. No problem. Alright, let's wrap this up for tonight. How about we meet again at the bar tomorrow night? Same time as today. And I'm gonna head off now. I've gotta stop by my agency. My manager is keeping the fact that I'm going out at night secret from them. I've gotta give him a gift to keep his mood up. I'm surprised he allows it. Well, he's easily out of the job if I just say the word. I may have mentioned the, uh, that fact when I got him to cooperate. You're terrible. I'll be the devil himself if it's for Ami and the Urashima woman. See you guys tomorrow. Out of here. Hazuki. Hazuki? Hazuki. Hazuki is her name. We watch as she walks into the station. It's better that she's like that than the type who cries at the drop of a hat. Even though she's not remotely in my strike zone. Well, it's time we were going to. You gonna stop by the office? The no family's office is by the convenience store I pass on my way home. Yeah, let's head that way together. Or we can stop now, and you can let me save, and we can deal with this tomorrow. Probably. Maybe. Can I... I can't. I can't. I can't. Because it's we're in the middle of a thing. Okay. Yeah, she was standing over there. We're not investigating, and it's not the end of the day, so I can't save yet. Pointing out the stairs by the underpass. What was it she said? Something like... Kakuya will play with you next. Let's play the Urashima Woman game. We've read this like four times, game. Look for the Urashima Woman. If you don't play with Kakuya, he'll disappear too. And Ami will never come back. 
Look for the Urashima woman, huh? I saw her, but... I wonder what she's trying to make you do. No clue. Ask Kakuya. She's not appeared since. I haven't heard or seen a single thing. Maybe she's watching you from somewhere as you run around in her game. It's a delicious feeling using a person's weakness to threaten and control them. It never gets old. You're messed up in the head, you know that? Regardless, one needs to have a care in who they're threatening. Threats only work against those who find value in their lives and status. They don't work against idiots who court danger. Someone like you, for instance. Thanks a lot. We keep tossing insults at each other as we walk through the dark alley. Excuse me for just a sec. He moves a few steps away and pulls out his phone. Here he goes. Whenever Nome makes a call, he has a habit of stepping away from people around him. Especially if it's a questionable topic. Because he doesn't want others to overhear. But my ears are pretty sharp, so I still manage to hear most of what he's talking about. Hey, it's me. Gather all you can about a journalist named Naomasa Ban. Criminal record, family, debt, hobbies, kinks, everything. Make it quick. Thanks for waiting. What are you planning? You heard me then? Forget how good your ears are. Just preparing for our little talk. Knowledge of the opponent is a basic tenet of negotiation. And it is negotiation, right? Not intimidation? This list sounds more like a search for a weakness. That's funny. Pretty rich coming from you. His grit is pleasant and mild, like usual. He looks like a picture-perfect popular guy, but he hides a demon inside. Guess I'll let the Prince of Threats do his thing. That guy will learn the truth of his own article personally. Serves him right, though. Can I save now? Hey, game. By the way, that journalist said something strange before he left. Something about gather information on spirits. Now that he mentioned it, we don't actually know anything about the Urashima woman. But what are we supposed to investigate? A source? That's a good idea. Suki mentioned that too. That the source is related to the reason a person became uh, a dead person becomes a spirit. If that was what you saw in your blood matri uh, vision, then maybe we need to look into other incidents that have happened at Yamato Shrine. Oh, it's Mr. Seiji and Ravenway. Hi. Out of the convenience store pops Maruhashi. He's carrying a bag of fried food. Guess he's getting a midnight snack. Maruhashi. Perfect timing. You can look into this. Oh? There's something I can help you with? Look into all incidents that happened at Yamato Shrine. You have until tomorrow night. Understood? T tomorrow night? That's kind of, uh... A rush. Is it? Are you saying you're complaining about an order I've given you? Oh, by the way, I don't think you paid last month's membership dues. Th that's, uh... Well, my father is a busy man. I'm sure he hasn't noticed yet. I could let him know. Mr. Seiji! Have mercy, please. Keep it a secret from the boss of the superiors for my sake. I'll do whatever you say. Please, I beg of you. Well, that depends on your work performance. So, I'll leave this job to you. Yes, sir. Whatever you ask, sir, I'll work harder on it than anything I've ever done in my life. You can count on me, Ravenway. Okay, thanks, bud. What a nice, charming smile. He's thanking you, Maruhashi. Now's your chance to make up for the trouble you caused him. I won't let you down, I swear. Alright, I have some things I need in the store, so let's part here. Maruhashi, you come with me. You'll carry my bags. Yes, sir. It would be my honor to join you. Please pardon me, Ravenway. Can I save now? I watched the two of them enter the store and then begin walking toward my apartment. <gasps> Game, please! I need a safe spot. Today was exhausting. I should hurry and go to my room. <laughs> he's the Yakuza boss. Well, he's the son of the Yakuza boss never allowed to save so we're just playing this game tonight this is it we're finishing it in a single sitting it's not bad i just wanna i just wanna <laughs> i just wanna save this is it's gonna be the longest speed run anyone has seen um <laughs> what's that there's there's some stuff on our on our door it's i'm sure it's fine what's the stain it 
kind of looks like a person. When I touch the stain on the door, I realize it's mud. What a half-assed prank. It's a pain, but I'll have to clean it later. I'll just leave it for now. Yeah, it's a reverse speed run. Exactly. Hey, there's... Hey. Huh? <laughs> when I step inside, the floor is covered in stains like the ones I saw earlier. Crouching down to look closer, they look kind of like footprints. What the hell is this? Why does it stink like sewage? Sir. Could it be that thing I saw at the lake? Open the door to the bathroom? No! But I can't not check. I hate that. I hate... I hate that they ask if I want to do the thing, but then they're like, oh, we're just going to do it anyway. Don't ask me. Just do it. Move slowly toward the door to open it. Strange, chilling pressure like an icy breeze seems to be coming from it. Decision made. I reach my hand out to grab the knob. It's me. You in there? Open the door. Oh, yeah. I open the door and Gnome steps inside. Sorry for coming by after we just parted. Found something interesting, so I came all the way back. He hands me a strange drink can. They had it at the convenience store. Thought it, uh, I'd be remiss not to sh uh, by not showing it to you. I don't know what that means. It's I mean I know what that means. I that whole sentence just ended up becoming a mess. It's fine. We su we summarized it. We understand. Look, Tomato Baron of the Night. Isn't that the dumbest name you ever heard? Hmm? What's wrong? You look put out. Whoa, wait. What happened in here? Front door, this room, it's all covered in mud. Well, I tell him what happened after I came back. See, so the Urashima woman is in your bathroom? Is that what you're saying? If I really heard that voice, then yeah. Okay, nothing to, uh, nothing to it but to go inside and check it out together. After you, of course. I was going to check it before you showed up. All right, I'm going in. Ready when you are. I open the door and step inside. It's fine. It's not even dirty. It's fine. The light clicks on and the bathroom looks normal. No trace of that chilling presence I felt earlier when I got close to the door. Now look, you got me riled up for nothing. You sure you weren't dreaming? No, I'm sure I heard I'm sure I heard a strange voice. And what about the mud? Okay, yes, they look like footprints, and sure there's a person shaped mark on the door. Low to even consider this, but maybe this is what people call being haunted? That was my guess, too. The Urashima woman seems water-focused, so maybe she can appear in similar places. Bathrooms, water pipes, sewer drains outside, manholes, things like that. Hey, don't joke around. Well, it looks like she's not here anymore. Why do you think that- or why do you think that? Why? No reason. I mean, she's a ghost. Besides, if she was here, she would have attacked us by now. That aside, we should probably clean up. Manholes, they're back! You don't want to sleep in such a mess, do you? I haven't showered in seven days! We'll find an alley with seven of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> have fun. Take care, Panda. Thanks for hanging out as long as you have. Uh, Go get your stuff done. <laughs> we'll see you later, friend. The two of us spend about an hour cleaning the apartment of mud. I just want to get to a safe spot, honestly. Now that that's done, I'm gonna head back. I feel like I'll break into goosebumps the longer I'm here. Hey, cut that out. See you later. Gnome turns and leaves. Once he's gone, I collapse onto my bed. I'll shower in the morning. Don't really want to get near the bathroom until the sun's up. Maybe I'll leave this light on too. Wonder if this means the Urashima woman followed me home. The college girl who died a few days after she threw a rock in the lake. Maybe that's or uh, maybe what's happening to me is what happened to her. The longer I stay awake, the more my thoughts go into a downward spiral. I cannot think about it. Quickly close my eyes and try to get to sleep. There's no way I can fall asleep that fast. Starting with the dirty water, strange things have been occurring in my apartment. Plus, there's this creepy sensation, like I'm not the only one here. 
seems impossible that I'll be able to conk out, but my body is tired down to my bones. Consciousness gradually fades, I assume is what that was saying, but it zoomed by despite the fact that I didn't hit anything. It's fine. But it's a safe spot, so this is great. Everything is fantastic and we're done. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Save spot acquired. Um. <laughs> we did it. Alright. Shall we? Find someone to raid. As I come up with some farting thoughts. Um. I am determined to get through this game. Even if I, it's not a favorite. I did. I still. Even with some of the complications that we had when we did it on stream, I still absolutely adore Death Mark. Um, and I'm invested in the series because their monsters are so good. They're so good. Let me tell you how good they are. Um, thank you everyone for being here and hanging out and just being wonderful, lovely people. You're all fantastic and great. Uh, let's see. I've got three people online at the moment. Uh, as per usual, I am willing to take suggestions and recommendations if we have them. Um, but I've got uh, Toadsworthy on, doing some Fortnite. Uh, Noginata is doing some Deep Rock Galactic. And ATM Zero is doing some Pokemon Legends Arceus. Does any of those sound good? Does anyone have any recommendations? Um... There are our raid messages. The first one is for everyone. It has global emotes. Second one has our personal emotes on it. So if you're a sub, you can use that one. But if people don't have a preference, do we want to go? Holy shit. Let's go say hi to Toads then. That's super exciting. Doing a 700 uh, follower goal. And if, you, and if any of y'all don't follow Toads, you should. Um, because he's delightful. He's very, very good people. Um, as always, thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, regardless of whether you were chatting in chat or lurking, I appreciate all of you. Um, again, sort of iffy on whether I'll stream tomorrow night or night. Uh, tomorrow night or not, I will let y'all know, uh when I figure that out. But until then, take care of your dang selves, have a good rest of your time zone, and we'll see y'all later. Goodbye!